Hey, 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 everybody, how we doing? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> ah, how is everybody? Let me say hello. Let me say hello. <clears throat> Good morning, Chaz Hub. Dionorus Bulvitas, how we doing? Kibaros. More they cat. Yes, dying edition. No. <laughs> hello, Saeed. Hang on, let me move my mic. Hello, Saeed. Hello, Napalm99. Hello, Killclaw. Hello, Darkheart. Hello, Dances with Blades. Has Matt ever done a save everybody a ending run in Termina? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't. Um, I got close accidentally on my last ending A run with Karen. Um, but, uh, to do it, you had to play as Osa or Abella. Um, and if you play as anybody else and you had to do... You have to go in the morning of day one, and if you go there with anybody but Osar, then August shows up, and so you can't save everybody. So I, I saved the, uh... Well, people died on that run anyway, so... Yeah, I wasn't even close. Maybe I'll do that after I do my, um, my Olivia ending B. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Dead Araman, how we doing? Funky Himbo. Pocket Cat Dan. Pernicious Rose, how we doing? Matthew Scala. Bash. Nina Nin. Uh, Raccoon Smiles, how we doing? Riley Knowles. Uh, ba, 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 ba. where are we up to? Hastu, Hasti Sarabi, how we doing? Yasfar Zamzami, how we doing? Simply Agno. Nuclear Winter, good to see you again. Dominique Diaz. Mask Galore. NY Baldy. Null. Liquid Lilium. Yo, Darker, thank you very much. Our chat got complimented in last stream's comments. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, YouTube uh, VOD watchers love love chat, so make sure to make sure to be nice, chat. Be nice to be nice to our VOD watchers here. We love our VOD watchers. <laughs> Hello, Seaborn. How we doing? Was I miss wait, someone? Did I miss someone? Miss Cogsmith. How did I miss Miss Cogsmith? How you doing? Uh, Rare. How we doing? Angela Tran. Devin D. Kitten Snacks. Daniel. Uh, John Evans, how we doing? Smasher66. Prod. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, okay. I need a quick sip. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, before we... Uh, I was showing my chat, my, my friend the chat yesterday, she was dying of laughter, especially with the Asian book of it. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. We're never ever doing that again. I'm I'm going to pray that we don't actually get an ancient book this run, so we just don't have to worry about that happening. <laughs> hey, some sort of badass, how you doing? Being entertaining and being nice are two very different things. We'll keep it entertaining for mod watchers. Oh, no. <laughs> what about my feelings, chat? What about my feelings, Okay. <laughs> I literally use a free super chat to push for the book. Oh no! Oh, I watch post recording when I miss streams. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you if you ever do miss a stream, you can um you can see it on the live tab on my channel. Anyway, you can go back and watch uh watch the vods there. And um, very rarely, some games will have like, or if I accidentally open up a YouTube tab or something, um, I'll have to mute the stream for a bit. Um, but otherwise I don't really, I don't think I've ever edited anything out other than that. Um, YouTube doesn't like it when you have copyright music in your stream. And <laughs> Limbus has copyright music in it, which is really annoying. <laughs> um, but most games we play don't, so. Love your thumbnails. Thank you. Thank you. I work very hard on the thumbnails. Australians don't have feelings. I would argue, but that's kind of true. I'm super crunk. Heading home. I literally can cast 3x Dark Orb, no problem. <laughs> we care about you. We just care about you reading the book even more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me get closer. There we go. Uh, so love that I stumbled into Fear and Hunger randomly being shown your shorts while Brandon. You hooked me. Oh, wow. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that um, random people who, have, who don't know what Fear and Hunger is are getting inflicted with my content. I think that's really funny. <laughs> Have been able to watch streams. Where's Arm? Um, so I I use this I use this uh, this model whenever we uh, we we get close to the end of a run to show how how much struggle and and torment chat has inflicted upon me as we go. 
I thought you made Fear and Hunger for about two months. <laughs> I wish. I wish I made Fear and Hunger. I'm in bed and I already ate. <laughs> we made you read. No! No! <laughs> we died to Boulder tonight. I am not fighting that thing ever again if I can help it. Maybe if I do a, a Fear and Hunger difficulty run, I'll go fight that thing. What was it? Old Guardian? Yeah. Oh, man. I watched one Fear and Hunger video, then YouTube spammed me with your videos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. My, the, uh, the power I have over Susan is working. Excellent. The real curse is being literate. Exactly. Um, there was something I wanted to do before we, before we get into stream today. Um, the new Freddy Five Nights trailer just came out and I want to watch that. I want to, let's, let's, let's react to the Freddy Five Nights trailer. And we can we can be a we can be a big boy streamer and do some reacts. How does that sound? One react for two minutes. <laughs> okay, how you doing, Toe? And Panda Boob Fist. It's <laughs> a great name. <laughs> and Nazumi, how we doing? Okay, let's uh let's get that set up. Where is it here? Oh, I should mute. Um, hang on, I'll just mute. I'll just mute. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. fear and hunger. Got that running in the background. There we go. And I'll just, I'll just, I'll just blow this for longer. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What's the name of phobia of rocks? Uh, <laughs> I guess it would be like geophobia, I guess. Is that, is that like mixing Latin and Greek roots? I don't know. I don't know which one's Latin or Greek. I'll just, we'll just say it's geophobia. It's probably like rockophobia or something dumb. Petrophobia. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ragenvelder next run, please. Ragenvelder's S ending is like the hardest S ending in the game. So that's going to be pure suffering. I don't know if I want to do that next. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch. Hang on. I'll, I'll, come, I'll come up close so you can see my, my beautiful face. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Freddy Five Nights trailer. Let's go. Yo. <laughs> it looks so goofy. <laughs> Where to? Why do I always get the weirdos? <laughs> what? What? Oh, oh shit. Um, oh, hang on. I didn't mean to click that. Um, Scott Cawthorn did the story? <laughs> uh, maybe it is canon? What? <laughs> Weird. Because there's like a whole bunch of books that are like... According to game theory, they're like retellings of, of canon events in, in the games, but they often change names around. So I wonder if this is going to be like a similar thing, right? See a, saw, a scene from the Saw movie? Yeah, that looked, that looked kind of like it, didn't it? Making him wear the, uh, making him wear one of the suits. Hang on, does this, this doesn't spoil the ending, does it? This, this doesn't like spoil the ending. Because this is him like getting, getting the Freddy suit jammed on him. And then, and then, and then it's him and the girl like leaving. Is that? This isn't like the literal ending of the movie, is it? I hope not. I really hope not. That would suck. <laughs> wow, this looks cool though. This looks so goofy. I think this. I think this is the right way to do it. I mean, because you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of kids. Um, you're gonna have a lot of kids uh, watching it anyway, so you kind of have to go goofy, don't you? That is the ending. It might be. It might be. <laughs> Should make Five Nights at Pre-Evil Bob. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, man. I wonder if there's a secret message in these letters. I feel like there's probably secret messages in the trailer just for MatPat. Specifically for MatPat, right? There was another... There was more text, like, here? No? Hang on. There was, there was, a, there was like, another point where there was, like, text on the wall. I hope, I hope they release these videos 
like individually right. I think that'd be great. Gonna fancy dress up with my BF to see this film. What are you gonna dress up as? I think it'd be fun to dress up in like as like the uh, the animatronics to go and see this. It's like here. It was like here. Oh, just a showtime. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Scott betting map hat with law was a mistake. I think I think Scott realized that. I think Scott was really smart, and that he realized that the law was was going to be appealing to to let's play YouTubers, and then law YouTubers was going were the two big pillars of the game, and it ended up making it a one of the one of the biggest selling franchises in the world. So, looks like it's streaming. Oh, really? Only streaming? Only? Does it like say that at the end? Uh, hang on. Oh no, it's in theaters. It's in theaters. Um, cool. That'd be really fun to see in the cinema. Actually, it would probably be really shit to see in the cinema. That's be it'll be filled to the brim with kids. So <laughs> maybe I can take my niece and nephew to it. That sounds really fun. Actually, I might do that. <clears throat> we got uh, a couple months to then, don't we? Need a fear and hunger movie. <laughs> we do. We do need a fear and hunger movie. And in fact, and in fact, um, I think somebody made a video. Fear and hunger Terminator casting. I think someone made a video about that. Is it? Is it, is it actually not going to come up? It's actually not going to come up, is it? Because <laughs> didn't, didn't I call it? Didn't I call it? Yeah, it's casting the inevitable Terminator movie. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't come up when I when I literally typed in casting. Anyway, <clears throat> um, anyway, yeah, this is great. I like it. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you do you want to go see it? Put some music on. Pulse and anxiety. That's good. Good promo. I think it's a good trailer. Yeah, I think it's a really good trailer. <clears throat> What happened to that guy that leaked the trailer early? Did he get killed? Did he did that did they send the animatronics out and see a new a new feature in the Five Nights uh restaurant? <laughs> hey kids, nice to meet you. You ready for some fast bear pizza? <laughs> Michael Sarah as Levi making Seth Rogen humor between PTSD and withdrawals. <laughs> oh man, that'd be great. That'd be great. Seth Rogen as Nashra, I think, would be perfect casting. Yeah. I'm afraid of future fan art. Can it can it actually get worse than this, Liquid Lilium? I can it can Can the, the, the Five Nights at Freddy's uh fan base reach new depths? Are there any new depths to reach? I don't think so. Do you think Fear and Hunger the movie movie would get 17 plus rating or not even a chance? I think you would have to be really careful. I think a Termina movie would get 17 plus. I don't think a Fear and Hunger 1 movie could get made, no. <laughs> but with Nicolas Cage was better. That was that was a real that was a fun movie. That was so goofy. What was it called again? Um Five Nights with Nicolas Cage. It was like Willy's Wonderland, that's it. Yeah, we watched it in the in the Discord a while back. Seeing as your car face really has me wondering if Fear and Hunger would be what you take in this situation or one of the other carvings would be more fitting for you. I'd probably take rare to be honest. I, I like, I just like the uh, the fear and hunger carving. I think it looks the coolest. So, so many hot animatronic babes. <laughs> Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, right? Minus kills Levi. Was that the bite of '87? <laughs> How's the run going? Uh, we haven't started yet. It's uh, we had to start from scratch because it's it's hard mode and there's no saves. So. Have an uncensored version at film festivals? Oh, you could do that, yeah. I guess there are movies that have extreme scenes like you find in in Fear and Hunger. So, you know what? Yeah, you, you probably could. But yeah, it would be like... Yeah. Limited release. Not on Netflix. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be tough. The janitor from Willy's Wonderland was forged from violence and fruit punch. <laughs> he loved that fruit punch, didn't he? <laughs> Maybe if Begotten was made remade by Lars von Trier. I don't. I'm. I. I am not media literate enough to understand either of those things. What's Begotten? 
Begotten is a 1989 experimental film written and directed by some blah 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 blah. Employs no dialogue. Opens with the suicide of a godlike figure and the birth of Mother Earth and the Son of Earth. It's set about in a journey of death and rebirth through a barren landscape. You know what? It is sounding. It is sounding like. Like Fear and Hunger, isn't it? Begotten was first conceived as an experimental theatre piece with dance and live musical companion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we're gonna spend sixty minutes talking about FNAF. No, no, no. I haven't even played FNAF. I've been meaning to. I have the games. I just haven't played it yet. Circuit, Circuit Purple guy isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, at least he's like a. Well, I was gonna say at least he's like a dude, but he's not a dude. He's like a a rotting corpse. People are sexualized. Look, yeah, people have sexualized worse. So you're right. It's not. It's not the worst thing that could happen, is it? Begotten sucks? Good luck with the run, thank you. Oh, Fear and Hunger would be the kind of movie pansy hipsters walk out of the cinema. <laughs> Massive just begotten from movie night, if that's alright. Maybe, yeah, I've been thinking about starting up movie nights again. I'll have a look at it. Oh, you're today. I think I went to bed a bit late. Uh, you've gotten so far in the run yesterday by grabbing the crown. This time you'll end it for sure. Yeah, well, this time I know that I shouldn't fight that guy and just get instantly popped on the fucking bridge and die in two turns. So. <laughs> um, so let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. I think we can do it. Close some stuff that I don't need. I don't need that. Let me just open up the hang on. I'll just get the endings open again just to make sure I uh, endings for here we go. I'm pretty sure I know how to do it, but I just keep it up to refresh my brain. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Do you stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time? You just stream I'm on, I'm just on YouTube. I don't uh, I don't stream on Twitch <clears throat> anymore. Do, do. Oh, hang on, I have this open. <clears throat> Why is the guard such a dick? Uh, because he has a mission to fulfill, and nobody can stand in his way. Where are you actually from? I ask because you stream all the time in the night in my time. I am... Oh, wait, hang on. I have I have a save from the start, don't I? I am um, in Australia. Drink some water to start hiccups? No. This one? This one. Okay, so we need to scab grab again. Tobacco. Okay. Okay. Right, you can just find rotten stuff. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> but you were American? No. There may be a demon, but at least I'm not American. Where is the? There we go. There is there's mushrooms right here. I don't really care about mushrooms. Um, where's the crates? Is this more mushrooms? <laughs> we should put we should put, we should open up a torch, shouldn't we? Yeah, there we go. Do, do. Oh, you're actually kidding me. That was a bad sign. That was a bad sign. We're not doing that run. <laughs> oh man, no way, no way. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, oops, wrong way. 
<laughs> the game was rigged by the start. Okay, let's get some armor, please. Yes. Plate mail? Fuck yeah. Give me a good weapon. Hand the controller to your chickens. They'll have better luck. They probably will at this point, won't they? <sighs> okay, what do we got? Chainmail hood? Nice, nice, nice. Pretty good defense to start off with, hey. Okay. Get some mushies. So we can make some mushroom stew. Oh, here's the herb. Here we go. Yo, Fanta, thank you so much for the membership. Really appreciate it. Okay. Did we get a water vial? We did not. Okay. Oh, great. Here we go. Mm -mm, yummy worm juice. My favorite. Oops. This way. Okay. Oh, I should put that stuff on, shouldn't I? <laughs> really good armor to start off with. That's excellent. That's a good start. Okay. Hoping to give you better luck? I hope I get better luck too. <laughs> oh, that was a shocking start. But we should be good now. We should be good now. We, we, we actually... The coins have spoken and we got some good stuff, so... No. So, beyond the Necronomicon, what books are you hoping from the shelves? Um, Alchemilia 1 is the the only one that I really need. Oh, uh, Passages and Alchemilia 1. They're the ideal books to get. Uh, Passages, of course, is very rare. Um, anything else is sort of not that important. Um, Towers of the Pocket Cat. <laughs> My favorite bedtime story, yes. Yeah, for this playthrough, you don't need to actually fight anybody. Um, except for Isaiah at the end. And he's not that hard to fight. Um, yeah, you can get away with fighting nobody else during this, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Apparently worm juice is real. It's used in agriculture to fix nitrogen levels. Oh, okay. Never figured out what Passages does. Oh, it, yeah, it just teleports you to Mahab for a short time. Love your content, mate. Thank you, Nasca. I appreciate it. Let us say if you fail three lucky coin flips in a row. Oh, guys. Fuck yeah. Ye old bennies will shoot you in the face with a crossbow and steal your platinum coin. <laughs> nice. Pocket Cat will listen to cool, the tool and quote them in everyday conversation. Eagle Crush Shield. Fuck yeah. All right. This is a really good setup. I would like a better weapon. Um, But this is okay. Um, <sighs> well, you know what Pocket Cat would say. This is so real. Like I woke up in Wonderland. That's, that's a quote from my favorite tool song, by the way. Quill. Nice, 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 nice. Need an empty scroll. Okay. Okay. What are brain flowers? Um. So. In the first game, brain flowers are. Um, they basically just make the enemy stronger. Um, I don't know what the debuff does to you when you get pollinated. I don't actually know what it does. Uh, but I don't think it's anything important. Oh, I should open this up while I'm here, shouldn't I? Speedy turtle right now. <laughs> yeah. Throwing knife. Well, I'm gone. Should I play Terraria, Stardew Valley, or League of Legends? Um, oh, God. I don't know. I don't like any of those games. Stardew Valley, I guess. Get that grind going. Pocket Cat would unironically listen to children's songs. He probably would, yeah. Okay, there's dudes in here. Monocle. Kind of useless. Okay. 
Now, there's an elite guard here, but we can get this guy. Oh right, I don't have. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot. I don't have. Um, I don't have on guard yet. Whoops! I should go get that before I do anything else. Oh shit! This is bad news. Okay, you gonna play Stardew Valley later? No, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. I was telling somebody else to play it. <laughs> Ayo, his dick out. <laughs> it is. It is. Here we go. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, what? I fucked up my turns there, didn't I? Shit. Oh, god damn it. Is this going to kill me? Almost. Jeepers creepers. That's awful. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get the fuck out of here before that guy notices us. Um, okay. Well, that was not cash money. Um, um, okay. Okay. That's okay. I don't need to fight anything else for a while. So let's go. Oop, almost. Sick. Okay. Good, get fucking junked, dude. Get junked! Yes! Ha ha ha! Get old! Wait, hang on. That guy has a cleaver. I want that cleaver. Give me that. Oh, maybe no. Maybe he doesn't have a cleaver. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Going for Kahara with a Rotophobia again. Oh, right. It's the same save, isn't it? Uh, maybe if I die again, I'll probably make a new save because a Rotophobia sucks. Uh, a Rotophobia is really bad. I'm gonna go get books first because these guys might kill me. Hey, how do you get a rotophobia here? Um, just from the start, you get a random, um, a random phobia, and I started with a rotophobia with really bad luck. So, they found out about how I feel about the book. Literally 1987. <laughs> what is it, rotophobia? Rotophobia is fear of sex. <gasps> oh, excuse me. So anything with dicks or boobies or for JJ's hanging out there. Um, and there's a lot of that in the start of this game. Um, yeah, we'll just, just own you. Um, I'm going to get books. I want to see if I can get... Uh, Alchemilia 1 first. Alchemilia 1 has all the healing, which is kind of silly, I think. Okay. Like, because you can get you can get blue vials and mixed herbs from Alchemilia 1. I think it's kind of, I think it's a bit strong. Oh, fuck me. God damn it, this thing. I really don't want to fight this at all. Go away, dude. For ancient book, uh, if I get an ancient book, I'll just use it instantly because this place is a bit cursed. Oh, you're kidding me! Studies of Sylvian, fuck me! Oh, yeah. <sighs> Are there any other bookshelves around here? Um, yes, there's one with a guard. Okay. There's some stuff down here, though. Oh, right, there's a guard there. Whoops, I forgot about him. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Can characters with erotophobia perform marriages? Yes. He's going to chill here? He's just chilling. There we go. Why don't the ghoul aggro there? It's, yeah, it's a bit weird. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so there should be bookshelves here. Oh wait, there's more up here. What am I saying? Oh, you're kidding me. 
Oh. <laughs> oh man, that would have sucked. <laughs> no, 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 not that one, not that one, not that one. There's a rat in that one. Creation of life, useless. Mahav, useless. Nothing worthwhile. Studies of all me. Please. <laughs> Okay, look. Fuck yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. The exact book I wanted. Ah, oh, look, look. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I can craft mixed herbs and blue vials. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh. ah, oh. ah. Oh. And I can craft this now too. Um. Okay. 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 How much health do I have? I have twenty-five. So I'm gonna use. Mixed herbies. There we go. Okay. Ugh. That's better. That's a lot better. And you can have moldy bread because it's funny. There we go. Uh, do I have um, green herb? I have three green herbs. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. We'll take the risk. We'll risk it for the biscuit. Ooh, we got it. Ancient book. Oh my god. Uh, every time. Every time. <laughs> uh, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Read the book. It turns out this book is the very book many legends tell about. It goes by many names. The Rites of Madness, Al Azif, Testament of Grokoroth, Ex Mortis, and the Necronomicon. Oh. <laughs> uh, next to this ancient presence, you're nothing but a feeble ant. You cannot contain your fear. This, yeah, this book is this book is my personal 911. <laughs> don't hope you don't hope you don't mind me asking. When you play Path of Legend sometime. Uh yeah. So usually whenever I finish games up, I uh, do a poll for what people want to see. So why'd you read the book? <laughs> why'd you always pick heads? Because heads, because uh, yeah, it's fifty percent chance. It doesn't matter what you pick. Start a new save? You're right, I should start a new save, shouldn't I? <sighs> okay. So hopefully I don't get... Um, hopefully I don't get uh, erotophobia. What should I call the name now? You prefer Fear and Hunger 1 over Termina or vice versa? I prefer uh, Termina, all things considered, but they're both very good games. It's, it's pretty close. Heads never feds, exactly. <laughs> How many Kaharas have you gone through? I think we're up to like death, like fifth death or something. How's your silver collection? Terrible. I have no silver. Nobody has, nobody has the $500 membership yet, so I don't have any silver. It's shocking. Mortis, Necro, Necro. <laughs> Dyslexic, his name is immune to the book. Exactly. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Soda. Ah. Uh. Hey, Sally, how you doing? Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Queen Hara. Pingus. <laughs> Burger King, illiterate. Oh, I kind of like illiterate. Erotophobia. Just call him erotophobia. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic's not bad. You know, I had how much I thought about the silver tier. <laughs> well, if you, if anybody does get it, make sure you can afford it because it's pretty expensive. <laughs> erotophobia, we'll go erotophobia. Erotophobia. <laughs> I can't even type the whole thing in. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> when I hear the Necronomicon, I always think of the Evil Dead series. Those movies banged. The show was so good too. The the show had no right being as good as it was. It really shouldn't have been that good. It had so many red flags to start off with.
sick. Hey, S, how you doing? I'm scared of the R. Ah! That's what you say when you see it. That's why it's, that's why it's the R. That's why it zooms in there, because you, you, you say, ah, when you zoom in on that playing tree, yes. What happens if you succeed the coin toss in the Necronomicon? You get a spell. You get, I think it's Black Orb you get. It might just be a random Grogross spell, too. Um, what do we want? We... Just lock picking. How important is lock picking? It's actually kind of important at the start, isn't it? An escape plan is pretty useful too, so... Uh, abandoned, goodbye. Random? Oh, okay. Hey Christian, how are you doing? Hey April, your needles? Oh hell. We got needles in chat, guys. Rush straight for the mission. Yes, here we go. You either get Black Orb, Hurting, Necromancy, or Blood Golem. Okay. Save the character. Yes, let's save over my previous save. Here we go. What do we get? Necrophobia. Let me think. Is that alright? I think that's alright. Because the only thing that's going to set that off that we have to deal with is the ghoul. And we don't really have to deal with the ghoul. So I think that's, that's better. That's better. That's better. So thinking about Levi and the wiki. Oh, yeah, 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 chat. So you remember the... um. You remember how yesterday somebody said that there was a Goku in the background of Levi's um unique character ending on the wiki? There is. It's just on the different wiki because there's two wikis. Somebody photoshopped Goku and into Levi's into Levi's ending. <laughs> Why is all this food rotten? Uh, anyway. Wait, where's that? It's over here, isn't it? No? There's like a, a herbie over here. Here it is. It's okay. <laughs> Nope. An Iron Curious, not bad. Could be better, but not bad still. My leg guards, all right. Now we're cooking. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, when I went to, when I was new to Fear and Hunger, I went to the wiki and saw the Goku thought it was official. <laughs> Get dark. Let's go. No, no, sorry. That's right. I could believe it. I could believe it. Nope, wrong way. Shh. Okay. Man, I hate Manibas. They're gross. I don't like them. I don't like Manibas. Lagarde? Lagarde? Uh, hello, Ronoe. How are we doing? I'll call work tomorrow some hanging out. Yeah, thanks for coming in, Chaz. I appreciate it. Oh, better open this up just in case. There we go. Goku versus Marco power scaling. Goku couldn't hurt the moon. He had his sensei destroy it instead. Marco soloed it. Hmm, that's a good point. No love for Maneva. No, we hate Maneva here. What skills do you think Goku would have in fear and hunger? <laughs> <laughs> um, he would have blood portal for instant transmission. Um, what else would he have? What else would he have? Um, he'd probably have red arc as well, actually. That'd be his, um, his power beam. I don't remember what the names are. Goku would fail his coin roll and just die to Harvestman. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Isn't Goku like really lucky? Would Goku be able to rescue Lagarde in time? Well, I think he would because he has instant transmission. So he, he definitely would. Two light blue vials? Fuck yeah. I won't need um, a chameleon for a bit then. We're trying to do Rack and S run recently. I have immeasurable pain. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
Lost so many things. Oh, what do we get? Longsword? Nice. Wish you luck in getting Kahara Essening. Thank you. Like, we got really close yesterday. Really close. Can't Goku turn into a gorilla or something? Oh, that's right. He can, can't he? Arm guards. Even better. Is the longsword better? Yes, it is. Sick. Okay. I would like a, a shield and a headpiece, but this is okay for now. Tabaki. <clears throat> Who watches One Piece? I, I haven't watched... I've watched like two episodes of One Piece. Um, and it's okay. I can't get into those those anime that are like, yeah, it's actually like 700 episodes and you have to devote a full half of your life to watching it. I'm like, I, I, I can't do that. Oh, hello. You're different. You went here last time. Okay, we might go get... um. <clears throat> we might go get on guard before we go do that then. Oh, the lizard man's there too. I don't want to fight lizard man. Got anxiety looking at the amount of One Piece episodes. <laughs> I watched only a thousand and fifty-six episodes. Oh, uh, only. It starts. That's when it starts getting good. That's when it starts getting good at episode one thousand. <laughs> I learned about this game two days ago, and you and your videos made me obsessed about it. Oh, I'm glad. And how you doing, Lionel? Chop. Chop, here we go. Okay. Okay, let's kill these guys. Oh, pop, pop. You watch horror anime? Uh, I should. I don't, but I should. Uh, kill that. No, you bastard. God damn it. That's so annoying. The RNG they're having is like really low too. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> you watched Made in Abyss? I, I did actually. Oh, I watched the anime. I didn't watch any, because it's like a movie and stuff out too, right? I didn't watch that. Uh, how do I level up affinity? In Fear and Hunger 1, it's it's pretty complex. Um, there's actually uh, a video by All Bones Jones about it. If you if you search All Bones Jones and affinity, you'll find it. It's a good video. Much better than I could ever explain it. Movie so fucking good. Is it? Yeah. I, I, I do want to watch it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Why is there so much rotten food? <clears throat> Okay, let's get on guard. Who's your favorite old god? Rare, I like Rare, he's pretty cool. Yes, now we're cooking. <laughs> okay, now we've got one of the most bullshit, one of the most bullshit builds in the game and it's literally just Kahara's skills. It's literally just what he starts with. <laughs> and one skill. <laughs> I love the image. I love the image of Goku replacing Chromola in this game. Just imagine him chasing you down the narrow tunnels of the dungeon because he heard you want to fight. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ancient Oh <laughs> no! No ancient book this time. We're not doing it. I'm not doing it. Scroll of the General? Alchemy Volume 2? Okay, not bad. Fellowship, okay, don't care about that. What does Scroll of the General do? Defense Oh, defense stance, that's alright, that's alright. What's the other thing? I'm not reading it. I'm not doing it this time. Yeah, I can believe Volume 2 is kind of shit. It's just like random junk. Um, okay. Um, do I need anything else down here? 
I guess there's some food and stuff I should pick up. Are you fungering yet? I sure am. If you don't read it, you're illiterate. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with being illiterate. I'm fine with that. What's my health at? 40. Let's kill this guy. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. All right. Coward? Yeah, absolutely. You can't, you're not going to bully me into reading this book and ruining another run from it. <laughs> It's not happening. It is not happening. Just take your instructions. <laughs> <clears throat> still getting used to the stream being an hour early? Uh, so am I, actually. Even though I'm waking up early, I still, um... Neat clip. Is Meek better than what I've got, actually? No, no it isn't. Okay. Yeah, ooh. Oh yeah, if the game ever gets really laggy for you for no reason, just open the menu and then close it again, and it should be fine. There's a, there's an issue with the coding. I, I know. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, sometimes if it's... Uh... Do I need raw meat? I don't mean raw meat. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it just needs you just need to open the menu and, and close it again, and you'll be fine. Happens in Termina too. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. Who's winning the twerk of chrome oil or needles? <laughs> okay, this way. You have a buckler? Do I? Oh, I do. Right. I missed that. How did I miss that? Let's get some goop. We want that. Black liquid. It's always useful to have. Um, ba, 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 ba. There should be some... There's a guard down here. No? No guard down here? Okay. Blue herb, nice. Pepe, nice. Okay, lots of pipes this time. Whenever you need pipes, you don't get them, do you? Let's light a torch. There we go. Oh, I'm excited for the new run. I wish you luck. Thank you. Sorcerer's Stone. I don't really need that, do I? Not really. Food for thought. If you're in Hunger 3, it takes place in modern times and a new magic character may be a socially incompetent occultist goth girl that's bullied in school and she buys a hot topic. Don't make me want Fear and Hunger 3 even more, please. I'm already, I already want it, please. Don't. Stop making me, like, desire this game, like, this much. Stop it. That's Samurai. You're right, it is Samurai. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, okay. There's, there's bookshelves in there that I want. Uh, I want these bookshelves. I don't want to deal with the guard, though. I have to deal with the guard, don't I? There we go. <clears throat> it's good that you get... Oh, did that not break? Oh, this is bad. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Okay, let's just run. <clears throat> what is cut this guy? There we go. On guard works perfectly in the first game, but it doesn't in, in Termina. It just doesn't work half the time for some miss. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Please, please, Kahara. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's not even like hard. It's not. I'm not like taking damage from this. It's just tedious. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now let's let's get some bits. No, not that one. See, if you listen very listen very carefully here, right? You can hear the rat squeaking. 
if you fail the coin flip there, you'll get bitten by a rat. Which I believe just infects you, so it's not the end of the world, but it, you kind of, you know, depending on what stuff you have, it can be really bad. And an elite guard can spawn- there, fuck me, there he is. No, 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 we are definitely not fighting this guy. Definitely not, come on, dude. Get kited, get juked, get fucking destroyed. It's never worth fighting an elite guard, just- Oh, did I just walk in the exact same spot as last time? Okay. It's not a rat car, it's case to bookshelf. <laughs> Stab this Sylvian, don't care. Penis Knights, don't care. Tower Pocket Cat, don't care. Stab this Sylvian again. Oh, gosh darn it. I would really like Passages. Passages would be delightful. Is that. I was thinking, where are the extra bookshelves now? Is that it for bookshelves? Maybe I'm not going to be able to get, um... I might not be able to get, uh... Uh, Blue Sin, which isn't the end of the world, but... Okay. Look away, guys. <clears throat> I need to go visit the uh, adult fun time because they have a red herb here. Thank you. I have that red herb and the stick. They have a stick as well. Aren't the scrolls still an option? Oh, right, right, right. We can get uh, <clears throat> we can get passages from there, can't we? No treats for you. No, you people don't deserve treats. You keep getting me killed. Did he reset his spawn? No, he didn't. Good. Good, 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 good. Do I have another soul stone yet? No, I don't. Okay. Um, <clears throat> because I would like, I would like blood portal is what I would like, but I don't have it. Blue sin better than Eastern Soul Purified? I believe it is, yes. Well, I can still get the, uh, what are you doing? I can still get the uh, the last bit of affinity I need. I'm weak from hunger. Oh shit! Okay, tried weak. Here we go. Eat that, please. You see the mod that replaces Enki with Marinara? No, I didn't. That sounds great though. Uh, pray or me. Yes, there we go. Sick. Cool beans. Okay. <clears throat> now I have enough affinity to get Blood Portal when I actually get a Soul Stone, which might be a while. Um, What's next? What is next? Oh, isn't there a chest down here? Nah. Is uh, the Born God of Fear and Hunger inspired by some real historic events? Um... It's inspired by, uh, the whole thing is inspired by um, lots of different religions and the process of, so I open that up, that's annoying, of um, how gods seem to change a lot over history. Pitch black, I mean. Gotcha. I should add more L's to all <laughs> Break it, break it, break it. Yes, good, 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 good. Okay. Oh, that's not very cash money. Goodbye. Hello, it is it my duty to ask you to play Toontown? Hello, Laponkatsu. I haven't. I'm not taking any damage here. A night light is inspired by the rake. What's the rake? 
What skills do you get with the Assassin Handbook? It teaches you how to make uh, a unique set of armor. It teaches you how to actually. It teaches technically. It teaches you how to skin skin enemies as well. Oh, his head isn't exposed. That's not good. <laughs> of course, he has a death fucking attack. Of course. Okay, so now I can skin him, and I can get his skin. And when you get enough skin, wait, do I have the? Th Here we go. We can, we can craft. I can craft a guard skin, and guards won't aggro when they see me when I'm using that, so. Okay. I do need a torch, don't I? Rotten tomato, blue herb, nice. Leather helmet. Wait, is that better? No, I already have a leather helmet. What enemy doesn't have a death attack? A lot of them don't. Um, a lot of the early ones do, like the guards do, uh, the zombies do, but most enemies don't throughout the game. Why do they add ads to streams? Me like, that's YouTube, baby. Unfortunately. That's YouTube, baby! Night Lurchers look like uh, adult baby demons to me with the same horn eyes. Oh, that's interesting. The uh, the Night Lurchers are actually canonically uh, rapists who have been added, put in the dungeons because of their crimes. And they got mutated by the black. If you're in Hunger 3, you can fight Morbius, but but be careful because his coin flip is Morbid time. If you fail, he begins to morble over you. <laughs> Question Is this still the no, no dying edition? Yes, it is still the no dying edition. Uh, we haven't died yet. No matter what chat might say, I haven't died yet. Oh, no, not run. We want to guard. Here we go. That feeling when you go to the bunny first when the cultist has hugged you instead. <laughs> Why don't we just be friends? Miss. Uh, Kara, please. Why are you missing? Died inside like a goat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Book deaths don't count. <laughs> Skin him. We can make the guard skin now, actually. Let's do that. That sounds fun. You used to hide your scent from guards. They smell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the elite guard isn't even here. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> hey, I'm new. Can you show me what happens if you go down the poop pit? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. That's not happening. <laughs> I'm a guard. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm protecting this place. <laughs> okay. Wait, isn't there a... Hang on, there's a lucky coin back here, isn't there? Let's go get that. It's like here, here. There we go. Nice. Oh, go away, gnome. There we go. We should get the doll. We don't need the doll. Rotophobia's starting to feel hungry, is he? Man, this guard thing must stink, though. Can you imagine? That'd be gross. So became a buff man. Kara's always been jacked. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Uh, let's pray the Sylvian while we're here, actually. Might as well. There we go. Okay, let's go. Probably not going to get Sylvian, but mm, might as well. Right. This way? I hope it's here. Yes, here it is. Always imagine Mr. Twink? I bet you do.
Isn't praying to multiple gods be bad? Yeah, you have to do it carefully. That's right, I don't even have the thing I want yet, do I? Dirt, pine cone, cheese, nice. Okay, can you go away, please? Can you just go, dude? Ah, oh, don't turn that way, you bastard. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Almost. Okay, we're not dealing with this guy. What? You... What? What? Fuck me. God, why does it always, like, lock up right before I actually hit them? That's so annoying. <laughs> God damn it. Uh... It's fucked. <laughs> oh, man. Don't you do it. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. 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 Ah, oh, we're going to be limping again the whole time. <laughs> oh, God damn it. God damn it. That sucks. Oh, wow. This is... Okay. Well, maybe we'll take this armor off, hey? <laughs> okay. 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 I know, I know, but you can avoid... Um, you can avoid setting that one off sometimes if you don't get close enough to him. But apparently, I got close enough. I got too close to him somehow. Uh, can I cook anything? can eat some salami. There we go. Oh, that's right. You don't get um, bonus attacks against this guy. Locust form. We might just get stunned locked to death. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to get stunned locked to death, aren't we? Oh, okay. And now we miss, and now we get stunned to death. <laughs> ah! <laughs> please, please, just kill! Ah! Oh, God damn it! Please, just do it! <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna heal. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Didn't even break his arm in a single hit. Oh my god, Kahara, please! Please! <laughs> I've missed more times in this run than my all my like five runs combined. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Goodness gracious. Why are yellow mages just like, why are they like stonewalling me in these runs? This is awful. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <sighs> give me, give me a scroll, please. I'd like a scroll if that's okay. Does your accuracy get worse if you lose your legs? I don't think so. 
car out here with the XCOM hit rates. <laughs> I'm going to shoot and kill this one. Uh... Okay, give me some goodies, please. Bone saw, no. Raw meat, no. Dirt, no. Moldy bread, that's oh, okay. Kara has 9,000 ping. <laughs> Bottle of whiskey. I would actually buy a Moonus plushie. That would be really cute, wouldn't it? Um, let's get this rope. An Arle. Yum, yum, yum. Blue herb. Nice. Okay. Yellow mages are for sure from the hood. <laughs> Leather helmet, quill. Okay, we've got a quill. Um, do I want to get the another leather helmet? I don't want leather helmet. Okay, it all seems to suggest a transaction. Oh, I can buy from her. I don't want any of this. I thought you had, I thought you had to had the had to have the crown to buy from her, but I, I guess not. If the character's got plushies, their limbs would have to be detachable. <laughs> That'd be great, yeah. <laughs> Yellow Mage Wizard Gang. Legalize Black Orb. Buckler, thank you. I don't need a wooden buckler. The sitting cage while I was wearing Osiris turban. It is. It's like a Yellow Mage turban. Find bone shears. Useless. Thank you very much. We love casting hurting. Recently got ending A and figuring I could do by accident. <laughs> oh, it's a pitch black down here. There we go. How hungry am I? Not very. I'll come back later to you guys with your bizarre erections. We heard you were missing a lot, so here's the bone shears. <laughs> so true. Okay, I'm gonna, am I going to be fast enough to avoid the ghosts? I don't know. Because you just have to run through. Fuck, no, I'm not. Oh my god, can I actually not? There we go. Sick, okay. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Can I get like one empty scroll, please? That would be really nice. Okay. There's an old book here with rich golden illustrations left here, but it doesn't interest you. I love that. <laughs> Oh, you want a book of enlightenment? No, it doesn't interest you. Oh, this guy. Um, how did you see me? You're blind, dude. Fuck. You're kidding. You're kidding. Okay, there we go. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. That's not cool, dude. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's wait for this guy. You can smell the torch? I can believe that, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's have a sip. We're done. We're halfway done. Well, we're not even halfway done. <laughs> we still got a bit to go. Uh, sometimes the stream is calm and I space out, then I'm always brought back with the fight music. Yeah, yeah, that's it's great. I love that. I can't believe Lagarde is dead. I never saw this coming. There's a death time to restart. <laughs> Nightlatch is afraid of stairs. Does he have bathmophobia? He probably does, yeah. Poor fella. Okay, how much money do I have? Do I have enough money? Uh, where's my gold coins? I need 50. Where are my coins? Did I... Hang on. Oh god, I don't have anywhere near enough coins. Um... 
what can we do? What can we do? Do I have to go into Mahab then? I'm going to have to go into Mahab to get the coins. Guys, this is going to take so long. <laughs> this is just going to take so long. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, leave me alone. Let's light this. There you go. Okay. I wish you could sell stuff. That'd be neat. <sighs> okay. Mahab Streets for playing over New York City at night. <laughs> Maybe we can get some if we if we're lucky. We can get like ten coins. No. No. No, okay. Better enter ancient city forgotten by time to check the couch cushion for loose change. <laughs> Literally, yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go and get... Uh, blood portal should help. Should help move around a little bit. Um, let me think, let me think. Where can I? I need to go up to the Hexen anyway, so let's just go up there. Let's go do that. <clears throat> no, 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 don't fight that guy. Good, 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 good. <sighs> Why would anyone buy your secondhand dungeon trash when they can see their trash? That's a very good point. That is a very good point. They're going to do something with that money, right? Is mon Money's like worthless unless you do something with it. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna use all your silver coins. Okay, what are you using them for? Uh Exactly, that's what I thought. Rotten egg. Thank you. Thank you for the rotten egg. <laughs> How is the guy who has Bitcoin scam to fuel his addiction for whores? Hundred <laughs> percent, yeah. What do they do with them? That's that's a very good question. No, here, that portal. Yes, excellent. Yes, ha 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 ha. Let's go. You still have coins to buy a silver bar, exactly. Okay. Okay, let's set up some portals. Expedite the process a little bit. You can use some money. I'm not saying that out loud, Landon. <laughs> okay, how much money do I have? Can I? I don't have enough, do I? I didn't pick up any more on the way, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I hope he doesn't like vanish if I come back. That would really suck. Okay. Blood portal, yes. Okay. Okay. One blood portal set up. <laughs> uh, dungeon magpies? I can believe that. Were you horribly disfigured in the dungeons of fear and hunger to develop erotophobia? You may be entitled for financial compensation. I wish. Give me the money. Show me the money. I put the new foggies on the Jeep. Exactly. <laughs> that song is like... He keeps getting stuck in my head. <laughs> uh, okay, now we limp back down. <laughs> now we limp all the way back down. Uh, um, where do we need to go? Where do we need to go? Um... I think it's just faster to go this way, isn't it? Then you go back to the cave dwellers. Can you use 10 meters hexing without advancing time? Yes, later in the game. 
there is a test tick table where you can use the hexen, but it's, it's it's really close to the end. Do I have an explosive vial? Oh, I need to save an explosive vial. No, you get us an explosive vial, so that's fine. Let's use it. Maybe we'll get some goodies. I don't remember going here. What's here? Just ghosts? There's probably just ghosts here. There's probably just ghosts here. Fuck off. <laughs> Similar Kahara's armor mean anything? No. No, it doesn't. There's bone. There's uh, shark tooth there. I don't care about shark tooth. Well, shark tooth might be better than what I've got, actually. Um, yeah, because Kahara's uh, symbol on his armor is just like a family crest or something. It's nothing, in, nothing important. Don't worry about me, dude. Shark teeth. Uh, unless shark teeth is like two-handed. It might be two-handed. Let's find out. No, it's not sick. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> Oh! Oh, we're back here. Really? That doesn't make sense. Hang on. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, no, it does, because you climb up. Okay, okay. Weak from hunger? Let's do the, uh, let's do the thing then, since we're weak from hunger. Might as well, right? Here we go. Metal Gear 1, Solid 1 remaster. <laughs> Anyone know who made the OST for this game? Yes, the creator of the game made the OST, except for... In the first game, I believe the only song he didn't make is the very introductory song, the one that plays in the in the opening, uh, where it zooms in on the... Um, it zooms in on the, on the title. Um, the... Uh, in the second game... He made everything except for four songs, which are listed in the OST description on YouTube. I'd love to make an OST for Fear and Hunger. Do you make music? Oh, you can probably hear my sheep going off outside. It's screaming its head off. It's a fucking idiot. I'm back. What happened? Uh, Fear and Hunger happened. Is a chest here? Blue vial. Nice. Give me this. Find trench coat. It's probably not as good as. Oh, it, it is as good as Iron Curious. That's alright. Here we go. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> That's enough of worm mode. <laughs> Hate to pest you, but have you gotten the money from Buckman yet? No. Uh, Buckman didn't spawn. I guess he doesn't spawn on hard mode? Because he just wasn't there. Okay, I should definitely light this torch again. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Cursed short sword, hell yeah! Ho, ho, ho! It, it could be a lot better, but I'm still pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Buckman broken. Maybe it's because I, I came in it from a certain direction. He doesn't spawn, so. Hey, when's the new Fear and Hunger Law video coming out? Um, very, very, very soon. Oh, shit. Um. Go away, I'm not fighting you. Um, I'm just in the final stages of editing it now. I don't want to promise a specific time because, um, my family have a habit of, uh, commandeering my time, and I'd never have as much time as I expect. <laughs> um. But very soon. It's it's very close to being done. Oh, thanks, big man. I appreciate it. 
Okay, let's get the heck out of this place. Now, now they have a cursed weapon, I can attack the ghosts. So they can they can fuck off, is what they can do. Will we get S endings for Termina? Probably not. I would be very surprised if we got individual character S endings for Termina. Very surprised. Um, yeah, I, I don't see that happening. What's this way, actually? You gonna do the other characters S? Yeah, I'd love to, actually. Um... I... I definitely want to do... Oh, fuck, my terrifying presence, okay. I'd definitely love to do Darcy and Enki. Um, I... Don't know about Ragnvalda. We'll try Ragnvalda, but Ragnvalda's is like the most difficult thing to do in the game. Die! There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. You're actually f <laughs> juked. <laughs> get juked. <laughs> oh, get owned. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumb bird. Fuck. Hey, it's me, Goku. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be a guard up here. And if we're really unlucky, he's gonna be pollinated. He is pollinated. No, 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 no. Fuck. Okay. Goodbye. Goku in shambles. <laughs> what do you have to do for Outlander's S ending? You have to kill everything with a unique soul in the dungeons, which is uh, a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, we'll go this way. This way's a little easier, I think. Have you heard of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard? I have heard that before. I don't know what it is, though. Okay. Too easy. God of... Uh, the, the true God of Ultraviolence is, is the ending. It's kind of dark here. Troll Silver Coins. Nice. Okay. Cloth fragment. I'll take it. This way. It's good. Purifying talisman. Don't care. Don't care. Six silver coins. Oh, is that enough? That was a lot of coins. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I was, I was going straight past it, didn't I? Yeah. Four more silver coins. Okay. We need four more silver coins. <laughs> Where do you meet Azire in hard mode? He um, is in, in the uh, the first part of the dungeon. The entrance. Is God of Ultraviolence a Clockwork Orange reference? Probably, yeah. Pipe. Give me like four coins, please. Can I just like open this up without the... No, I guess you need the map, hey. That makes sense. Yeah. You can't save in hard mode? No, you cannot. So good luck, buddy. Okay. Red vial, pipe, blue vial, eagle crest shield, useless. Okay. Wouldn't it be more convenient to grab the 60 silver coins from Kahara intro? Um, no, because the the skills you get instead of that are really, really useful. So. Oh god, do you hear the squeaking? Can't do Actually, how many, how many lucky coins do I have? If I have a lucky coin, I'll spend it. Lucky coin, lucky coin, lucky coin. Lucky coin, lucky coin, one lucky coin. Okay, let's get that. Okay. Oh, you're actually kidding me. God damn it. Ah. Uh. 
works 100% of the time, hey? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Ooh, I really don't want to fight that. What do we get, what do we get? Scroll the Dark Mage, what does that do? Learn the secrets of blood sacrifice. You had a holy ceremony of self-harm and mutilation. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't need that. Don't. Don't come down here. You bastard. Of course you're coming down here. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Okay, good, 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 good. Imagine there's RNG for curing infection. I don't want to imagine that. Please don't say that again. That sounds like a waking nightmare. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, good. See, I'm playing him like a true rogue. Oh, we've got it. We've got it, bros. We've got it. Ah, oh, we have the 50 silver coins. Yes. Okay. Okay. We can get the hell out of this place. Um. Oh, my trick's going off now. You might be able to hear her. Sick. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, no party yet. Um, you can use necromancy to get party members, but um, I'm not going to bother with that. So, oh, goodness gracious! Is there's a uh, a ritual circle in the library, isn't there, or in the in the rooms just outside the library, right? Okay. Lord of the Flies a new god? No, no, no. They're, um... Lord of the Flies is, um... Is a creature made by... What's his name again? Uh... Valtiel. As he's practicing... Because he's trying to make life, but he can't quite get it... He can't quite get it right. I'm not fighting whatever the fuck this thing is. Goodbye. Spider. Don't care. Um, yeah, he was trying to make new life, but he kept fucking up. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Can we not get through? <laughs> What's in here? That is a black witch circle. Fuck. No, go away, go away! Fucking spider, go away, dude. Dude, can you go away, please? Thank you. Jeepers. Jeepers creepers. He does have a warm smile, doesn't he? Do you know if the Beatles are also his creation? No. No, the Beatles are probably not his creation. Okay. Did I miss anything good? Uh, we've been... <laughs> kinda. <laughs> it's been a doozy. It's been a doozy of a of a run, that's for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Found ancient weed. Hell yeah! Think Samurai's gonna become playable in a future Termin update? Most likely. Uh, well, she's high on the list. That's the thing. Um, we'll definitely get one. I reckon. In my in my personal opinion, we'll get at least one playable character, which will probably be Tanaka or Pav. Any more than that, we'll, we'll have to see how... Miro says, um... It depends on how difficult it is to make a new character. If it's if it's really, really hard... Um... Then no. We'll only get... We'll only get one, so... I could have sworn there was like a... Am I just going crazy? Is there not... Is there not a ritual circle here? Why is he limping again? I got my leg blown off by a yellow mage because it was funny. Ugh. Ugh. Am I going crazy? Is there not a ritual circle in here? No and yes? What do you mean no and yes? It's only in the future. We can do that. We can go back to the future. So let's, let's light up. Okay. 
Crucial Circle is in the past. I am in the past. I'm positive there's one here. Let's look in the... What is like a set here? You can see a creature floating inside. The creature has got no eyes. You can peer into the darkness inside its eye sockets. The darkness peers back at you. You feel shaken. But yeah, you can see this is one of Valtio's experiments with the um, Lord of the Flies in there. Thank you, dude, for helping me get me into Fear and Hunger. I'm just finished my first run of Termina. Oh, how'd you go? Who, who'd you play as? What ending did you get? Put you your leg blown off, how's your character still walking? That's a good question. Lord of the Flies looks like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Here we go, okay. Okay, okay, okay. And we have some more money, let's go. All right, level one entrance. Okay. Bautio Furu goes, how do I make life in their literally legal age woman to be found? It's all about becoming Understanding the old gods and becoming greater than them is is the whole point of, uh, you know, Ascension is the whole point of the new gods. All of them try and do it in different ways and they all fail. The old gods created life and humans, we, they cannot figure out how to do it. They cannot, they try lots of stuff and they can't figure it out. Steal. Okay, ah, oh, okay, let's limp back to the fucking Mahab. <laughs> oh, Nelly, oh, Nelly. We're getting there, we're getting there, bros. We're getting there. Wish Fear and Hunger had an endless dungeon delving mode. Uh, it kind of does. I mean, it's not endless, but you can do that in, um... I want to go down here, don't I? You can do that in Dungeon Knights. Dungeon Devang. Let's... We have to go future, don't we? Yes. Okay, now I think we can not fight anybody except Isaiah. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 fuck. Why did they do that? Why did they do that? Okay. Here we go. We can scoot around. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Why do they want to create new life instead of heavily exist heavily modifying existing life? Because it's, um... That's just a human desire, is it? Do I have to... Do I actually have to do the first one first? I might actually have to do the first one first, hey. Oh, okay, that kind of sucks. Gosh darn it, I do, yeah. Okay. That's okay. Um... Because I can just, what I'll do is I'll go get the first one and then I'll go and then unlock the other, quiet you, and then I'll go unlock the other um, portal at the Tower of the Endless, and that'll be fine. Blue bar, nice. Stick, nice. Throwing dart, nice. Let's see if we can get some um, scrolls or something. Yesterday it was lucky run. It was a really good run, wasn't it? Do you always have to buy the maps? Yes, because if you don't buy the maps, um, you don't get map number three. Um, and that way you can't. Uh... No, 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 shit. And so that you can't actually get the ending then. Last sounds like a duck. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we just need to limp all the way back over to the right. 
And nothing should be in the way. There might be a harvest member, then we can just teleport to the future, I think. Stupid question, but why does Abella always turn by day two? Um, some people just turn easy. She gets fucked up by the parasite, the parasite nabs her. If it wasn't for that, she would probably last a lot longer. Um, but it grabs her, so. Did you buy the potion though? No. Stick, okay. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. It must be so bizarre to go through that horrible fucking dungeon, then go down, see some weird tombs, and then walk into the city of the gods, just underground here. That must be so trippy. Okay, so the first one's here. Abella is not an actual moon scorch. She is, but it's weird. It's it's a it's a modified moon scorch. Why am I so hungry all of the time? <laughs> here we go. A lot of the moon scorch are affected by other outside influences a lot. Here, isn't it? Do I need to read a map to do this? I might, I might need to read the map first. No, this one. Okay. okay. <sighs> Still fascinates me that the key to the ancient golden city of the gods is all the way in Vinland somehow. You want to know why that is? Well, it's. So, it's because, how do I explain? I'm not dealing with this. Sorry, I didn't sign up for this. Um, so, Mahab is the city of the dead, but also the city of dreams. You can visit Mahab in your dreams, right? But you go there when you die. Because we see the souls of people walking in. Walking into the Hall of the New Gods. Um, and also, Grogoroth was the, the head god. For a while here. And being, you know, he's the god of death, right? Um, oh, do I have to do all these guys? I think I might have to. I am not fighting this guy. I'm just not doing that. <laughs> Um, so the two ways to access Mahab are dreams and sleep. And enlightenment, as in the, the proper form of enlightenment, um, is, is represented by Vanushka. Vanushka is the god of enlightenment. Because we see Vanushka in the book of enlightenment, which I, I would show you, but I don't have one. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Um... So I got that chest, and now I need to go back to the library. Okay. Here we go. Um. And what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Yes, enlightenment is being on the edge between death and life. That's what enlightenment is. Um. And when you get a book of enlightenment, when you actually, it's, you know, a death and dreams are also very similar. Uh, because when you, when you use the book of enlightenment, it says it feels like you're dreaming. Um, but we can also see that come out in uh, being on the edge of death and, and life uh, with the, the tormented one. And when, when you look at, when you look at what, what the guys were trying to do, you know, Nilvin is literally, literally asleep. 
she's a dreaming god, and then you've got the tormented one who is basically on the on the edge of life and death the entire time. And Valtiel, the enlightened one, has he's I think other than the traces of Grogroth, he's the only enemy in the first game who can cast the spell um, Whispers of Grogroth, which implies his very strong link to death. Um, yeah. Um, so it's not, it's not that the key is specifically found in Finland, it's that the key is enlightenment. And the cube gives you enlightenment, as we see with uh, Lagarde, get, got enlightenment through meditating on the cube. Um, so yeah, it's, it's less that, oh, this, this specific key to Mahab is found in, in Finland, it's more that the key gives you enlightenment, and enlightenment is the key to Mahab. If that makes sense. How'd you get two phobias? Ha <laughs> ha! We got him! <laughs> Sorry, Thomas, we got you. <laughs> My name is just a rotophobia. <laughs> uh. So being on the edge of death can let you go into the ancient city. Could Levi visited from ODing on heroin? Uh, yes. Uh, it's... I, sh I should be more careful with my words. It's not being on the edge of life and death. It's... It's complicated. Um, so it's not literally being... Being dead. Being, being, being alive and dead at the... S well, it's, it's being alive and dead at the same time, which Vanushka was. Um, humans can't usually do that, is the thing. We're either alive or dead. The old gods can breach that boundary. So... Yeah. Meditating on cubes, same energy as thinking on the toilet. <laughs> Moonscorch just radiation poisoning that turns you into Silent Hill boss. <laughs> I've been thinking about Moonscorch lately. It's, it's interesting. I have an interesting theory that I'm working on for, for what it is. Um, Ayo, and let's go eat a cabbage. Eat a whole cabbage, Kahara. That's really funny. Do that. Do I have like a um, blue herb? Yes, eat that. Hang on, do I have... No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Did Vanushka die, as in go to the depths die? I think so, yeah. Impressive, you actually found the treasure. I didn't know this ancient city is now. We've, we said this before, didn't we? I don't care about this. Ooh, that hurt. This coin flip is unique in that it does literally nothing. So it actually doesn't matter if you, you get it or not. Can this guy die already, please? Oh god, is he actually going to kill me? <laughs> this isn't this isn't very cash money, guys. Please die. Oh! <laughs> if he didn't die there, I was just dead. <laughs> oh no, that was so bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oof. That was almost really bad. <laughs> I should have used like defense stance or something at the start. That would have been good. <laughs> he, he's a plague victim. Yeah. Okay, let me use his iron mask. It's really good. Um. Okay. Okay, so bu, 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 map three. Let's open that up. Okay, so now we need to Do you have uh personal favorite preference playable characters? Um I like looting stuff, so I like Olivia because you can loot more stuff. 
Um, and I like crafting. And I also like Olivia because you can craft more stuff, so. I don't know shit. Can you get out of the way, please? This is really annoying. <laughs> okay. Can old guys really be killed? Um. Yes. Shit, okay, okay, okay. God, if, yeah, if you don't run from that, you can just one-shot you, so you have to be so careful fighting the Black Witch. Which unplayable character are you looking forward to being released? Kalagura! But that's probably not happening. <laughs> I, I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't bet on Kalagura actually being released, unfortunately. So. Said all the time, but Kahara looks more like a warrior nomad, not a rogue. Well, back then, you said it had to be, right? Let's go to... I need to go to the past anyway, don't I? Can you guys die from old age? Uh, kind of. Oh, uh, no. No, no, they can't. They can't really die from old age. I'm playing Fear and Hunger Hard Mode, got an ancient book, Heads or Tales. <laughs> I'm attracted to Pav, is that bad? Uh, lots of people are, don't worry, you're not alone. Ooh, 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 ooh. I need Caligura playable so someone can mod in the Zuma haircut! <laughs> I agree. I love the soul just chilling here. I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Do you think Marina is Kahara's descendant? That's out of left field. Don't know. Could be. If Caligari gets added, I'd love to see his dialogue options in the first cutscene outside the train. Some of the choices are pretty different for each character. That's true, they are, aren't they? Okay. Light a torch, eh? Boop, 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 boop. How do we do this one again? What does a big statue do, and is it tied to its own deity? No idea, sorry. It doesn't do anything. It's just a ceramic pig. People seem to think it's a, uh, it's like a brazen boar. Or like the brazen bull, where they put people in it to burn it, but, uh, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be any evidence of fire or anything around it, so... Hard to tell, really. Uh, how do we do this one again? How are you even supposed to solve the sliding statue puzzle? Um, use your years of Legend of Zelda practice to know what to do. It's an Etruscan boar ceramic. Oh, there you go. I'm going to get these scrolls is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to get... What should I... What do I even need, actually, at this point? Do I need anything? Oh, go away, Maneva. Oh, jeepers. Go away.
Why does Mirror do Cosmic Horror better than most media? Because you don't know it's Cosmic Horror. That's why Bloodborne did it so well as well. Because you didn't know it was Cosmic Horror until you actually started playing. That's always the best Cosmic Horror. Because it, it perfectly mirrors what the characters are going through. That feeling of revelation is the big deal. Oh shit, you were actually kidding me. <laughs> uh, if you fuck up the starting puzzle, do you have to reset? I think you do. Notice how Ormir doesn't have one eye. He does, though. I'll show you in a sec. When the Manibas fuck off, I'll show you. Why are Ormir's feet censored? Is that too much to handle? It was, yeah. It was, yeah. Do I not have any more torches? I don't have any more torches. Hang on. Like, ten. There we go. There we go. Did you play the new Zelda game? I didn't. I, I didn't like Breath of the Wild. And Tears of the Kingdom is just Breath of the Wild too, and I'm just not interested, so. Jeepers, they really do just follow you the whole time, don't they? Don't turn around! Get back here! He's missing a different eye from Sulfur. No, see, look, here's the thing, right? You can sort of see. It's sort of hard to tell, right? But see, look, he's got one whole eye, like one eye missing here, right? And he's got the left, his right eye. He's got his right eye, right? Sulfur's, the only eye hole Sulfur has is his right eye. That's the only one he's got, but the worm comes out of it. Scroll lock picking? I don't, I don't, 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 need, don't need that. Scroll of Berserk. I really don't want that. Dead, okay. <sighs> Ormi's just being a Dan Kimmy. <laughs> is Ormi a dead? Yes. In a way. Who's your favorite god? Sulfur. He's cool. I've been thinking about Sulfur nonstop for about six months. And I think after this video, I, my mind is starting to... My mind is already starting to relax from Sulfur. I've legitimately been thinking about Sulphur for like six months now. What if I ask you, uh, ask you E versus Bible question? Uh, you can ask me Bible questions. I'm probably not, I might not be able to answer it, to be honest. But you, you're welcome to ask. If I can't answer it, I'll just tell you. Wouldn't Sulphur die with all me? Uh, well, yes, they're the same God, so yes. I guess it depends on whether or not you consider Sulphur's eye hole to be a missing eye. It seems conspicuous when compared to everything else getting burned off. Yes, exactly, it does, doesn't it? Um, and especially since uh, a protective eye is a very, very specific um, idea that pops up a lot in these games. A lot. Eyes are a very important symbol in these games, so. Did they ever explain if you're in Hang 1 how Ormia died? Did the new guys beat his ass? They, they wouldn't be able to scratch him. Um... No, they didn't explain how he, how he died here. He's just here. It was a bit of a shock to see him here. You're not supposed to, like, he's not supposed to be dead. <laughs> he's supposed to just be still out there somewhere. This is going to be painful, isn't it? Oh, you can one-shot the ghouls with, uh, um, ba -ba 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 with on guard, so. Most attractive god, Sylvian. Objectively. Fuck off, I'm not fighting you, dude. That's not happening. Okay. No, 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 fuck.
These guys have a death, a death blow, and you don't want to deal with that because it will infect you. No, fuck off, dude. Alright, guys, come down here, come down here. Calm down here. Okay. I'm underwater. Goodness gracious, are you okay? Oh, I can't believe that I can learn about the game from you, but when I can learn from Miro, he tells me if I'm Ragavada, I better I play a better character. <laughs> Almost Jones isn't Miro. Tell him that you think tell him that you called him Miro. That's that'd be funny, he'll like that. Sorry, I meant versus battle, not versus Bible. <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. I'll, uh, I'll answer a question about versus battle. <laughs> uh, could someone steal all me a skeleton? They probably could, yeah. Um, okay, so we want to go to the future. Yes, okay. <sighs> okay, goodness gracious. We're going to make it. We're going to make it, bros. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> the legs get blown off five minutes into each one of these runs. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> This wouldn't take half as long. This wouldn't take half as long if I had my fucking legs. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. I'm not fighting this guy. Shit, I am. <laughs> How much would Ormia Skeleton fetch? Slightly used. They probably have it. Because they went down, they, they got into the void. The archaeologists got into the void, so they probably have all mere skeletons somewhere. Okay. Oh, is that actually his body? Uh, probably, yes. That's what it seems to be, at least. You know, it could be a ruse. But, uh, so the thing with, the thing with Fear and Hunger is that you have to assume things are true until somebody says otherwise. And if nobody ever says otherwise, then it's probably true. Right? So like, that's why, that's why the sulfur stuff takes precedence over the Ormir stuff because we were told it later and it's secretive. If something is more secret to find out, is, is more difficult to find out, then it's more likely to be true. Basically, <laughs> um, like, like how there is the book, the the Fellowship, right? And it tells you about all the the gods and what, and the, like the new gods and how they how they took power from the old gods and what have you. But then you get the Fellowship unedited, which is a secret book you can only find later. And it's like, oh, actually, that's bullshit. And they didn't do that. Go to the restroom. Can you pause? Yeah, sure. We'll take a break. One thing I hate from one is the sentence, your ankle feels hurt from the fall. I swear it should be, your ankle is hurt, your ankle is sore. I'm just being a sook. <laughs> the, um, the, uh, the language is a little off in the first game compared to the second game. Um, but I think that's part of its charm. It makes the game feel very strange. And I think that fits the whole vibe, so. Why is all Mia slash Sulfur on the same level as the old gods and the god of fear and hunger? I haven't read everything about him. Uh, in a nutshell, it's because the God of Fear and Hunger and Ulmir killed an old god and took their soul and basically remixed it and became a new god themselves, a, a, an, an ascended god themselves. So, yeah, they basically usurped an old god and took their power. You force the Pope to pay you gold in each year to exchange. You give him one single Ulmir bone one year. You give him a rib, then you give him a toe. <laughs> They would crusade to get that. Um, yeah, you would uh, you would need uh, a lot of money already to have your own army. <laughs> Wasn't it Russian? Uh, Finnish. Uh, English is is the developer's second language, um, and at the time he was it was a lot rougher than he is now. He's a lot better English speaking now. You can tell just by playing Termina, the language is a lot better. There's very few mistakes in there. Um, but I, th I think the, the language mistakes really do add to the charm of the game. It makes the game feel just, just slightly off. And I think that really fits the vibe, so. 
Ooh, now it's archaeology, not grave robbing. <laughs> I'm back in my resume. Thank you. Thank you, cheerful Chad. Where's he going, guys? Okay, where is the thing? It's like over here, isn't it? I think it's this way. No, not this way. Oh, I found a torch. Nice. Let's go. Down here it is. Trench coat. Nice. What's Cromwell's purpose in the dungeon? It seems like it's important. He's there to protect the dungeon. King Crown, the crown looks very valuable and pricey. It's bound to be to guarantee a wealthy life if you sold it to proper vendors in the kingdom of Rondon. Men of silver and gold you can get from this would greatly exceed the amount you were originally promised as the bounty. There is no need to continue your journey to the depths. You can escape this dungeons and leave all this behind while you're still alive. And in fact, we do want that. We do want to do that. So let's get the hell out of this place. How the hell do I get out of this place? Like a path over here? No? No? Uh, but, but don't cross a bridge? Yes, no bridge. We're not going right, we're going left. Yeah, here we go. Okay, here we go. What if you could be richer? That's a good point. We really have a shitload of money. Do we need a blue vial? Oh, I'm, I'm getting really hungry, aren't I? Um, have another cabbage. That's really funny. <laughs> wow, cabbage actually gives a lot of hunger back, doesn't it? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Anathemia, nice. Blue vial, nice. Black vial, nice. Explosive vial, nice. Okay. Oh, we're right here. That's useful. Ugh. Okay. Oh, let's get the hell out of this place. Um, okay, yeah, we can go this way. Nope. I'm going the safe way. I'm not taking this risk anymore. <laughs> I'm going the safe way. It's a little longer though. That's fine. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Super soupy soupy about my back row noise of truth. Thank you. Probably spend my comprehension, but a shitload of money. Let's go, boys. None of the guys in that passage are holding their... Yes, they are. They're, they're like... They're, they're probably kings of some sort. What do you think the all-mere bone broth would taste like? It would probably be amazing. Army can't take down monsters this place, but the four random people could. Yeah. Well, I don't think anybody really knows this exists. And so by the time you get down there, it's only like... The dungeon is specifically designed to confuse and disorient people. If they marched a whole army down there, then obviously they would. But... It's sort of... Because it scares the shit out of people, it sort of has an otherworldly protection as well. So... Let's fill again. Whoops. Man, escape plan carrying hard. Go away. Stop that. <laughs> you can't go up the stairs. It's an ugly looking dog. It is an ugly looking dog, isn't it? I'm worried. I think these games need more attention, but I'm worried it will get watered down. Uh, Miro does whatever he wants, to be honest. And he really toned it down a bit from the first game to the second game. Um, at the end of the day, he he is just going to do what he, what he wants to make. He specifically said that. Like he says that the the, first, the best idea he has for uh, Fear and Hunger Three right now is uh, something that most people will hate. So, so I really wouldn't worry. 
about him uh, censoring himself for it. Ooh. Oh. Oh, we got it. We got it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Goodness gracious. We did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You managed to escape the dungeons of fear and hunger alive. It is a feat never heard of before. Not only that, you also managed to find valuable loot that would guarantee a wealthy future. The long journey back to civilization felt like a lifetime. You could not sleep as you constantly felt eyes lurking in the shadows of the night. The darkness, even though it was lighter than anything you experienced in the dungeons, still sent a shiver down your spine. As you finally found your way to the kingdom of Rondon, everything felt unreal. You could not understand how people would lead their everyday lives simultaneously as a great evil existed beneath their feet. You sold the ancient crown to the highest bidder. The amount of silver you got from it exceeded your expectations greatly. You also felt better getting rid of such an unholy artifact as it kept reminding you about the darkness. You rose from the lowest class scum to a noble in a heartbeat. You brought your wife free from the labor she was forced at the red light district and settled down in the fancy manor. You got everything you ever dreamed of. You got most of the noble families on a leash thanks to your great wealth, taking any breadcrumb you threw at them. Wow, he got really rich from that. You were living in the most extravagant manner with your wife with seemingly no worry about the future. Still, you could not sleep. Every passing moment, you would be grabbing at the hilt of your sword and staring at the dark corners of your room. Just waiting for the inevitable. You knew that the darkness you witnessed would one day leave no survivors. It would still come for you one day. Happy ending. <laughs> Was her being naked necessary? Yes. <laughs> Yo, Layden, thank you very much. Oh, that's the happiest ending in the game, by the way. <laughs> uh... It shows Kahara got everything he wanted: wealth, love, sex, and it's not—it's not enough to protect him. He's done. He's cooked. Oh, he won, but at what cost? Yes. Does it hint at Kahara being enlightened? He's not enlightened. He's just got PTSD. <laughs> yeah, do it with no limb loss. The only issue is the yellow mages. And that's because I try and skirt around them. If I just fight them directly up, I'll probably, I'll probably be fine there, to be honest. So, From Darcy's perspective, she's really happy, right? Uh, she thinks she's happy. Karani, what's wrong? You haven't eaten my ass for dinner. <laughs> oh. Karani's is actually sad because he can't fuck around with anyone in the dungeons anymore. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's take a short break. Yeah, yeah, we will do another playthrough. Let's take a short break first. Do, 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 do. What's next? Probably Das. We could do Das. Das is really quick. So we can definitely do Das today. Anki's is harder, a lot harder. And Ragnvaldus is the hardest ending in the game, for sure. <laughs> um, but we should be able to do, we should be able to do Darces. Darces is pretty easy. We won't, we won't, we won't use the passages exploit either. 
We'll do it properly. Is there tabs out there for anything? I don't know. Could be. Do the Ragnar vow to kill the guard in less than 10 minutes speed run. That wouldn't be that hard to do, to be honest. Let's do Ragnar. <laughs> okay. We will uh, be a 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 uh, be. And then we'll come back and we will keep uh, keep playing. Is that sound? You're going to update your graph, the one that shows how the old guys interact with the world? No, no, that, that doesn't need upgrading. I don't think it does. Does it? Do, do, do. Leg sweep queen, let's go. Yes, yes, queen sweep. <laughs> let's, yes, queen sweep. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, be a bit.
Okay, we're back. How we doing, guys? Ah, it's cold here at the moment. I had to turn my heater on. <clears throat> I personally like it when my men don't have an even hotter, sexier man hating him. <laughs> don't, um, don't Fujos like that? Me and my bud need your Australian expertise. Could you translate? Let me let me guard chick grinder. <laughs> let me guard chick grinder. Oh, let me go check grinder. Yeah. Um, that sounds like somebody saying, let me go check the the gay dating app grinder. That's what that sounds like. Can I stop us all? <laughs> uh, okay, the graph needs a HD remake. I probably should do a HD remake of the graph, shouldn't I? <clears throat> but to ask, how you have cold weather in Australia? Remember, it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. Yeah, and it depends where you are. Like, um, in Brisbane, I'm outside. I used to live in Brisbane. Um, in Brisbane, it's hot all year round. It really is. We get like, we used to get like one or two cold days in Brisbane. It's just so humid there. Uh, but I'm outside Brisbane now, outside the city proper. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually, we, we get real weather here. <laughs> I'm from Oz. I'm in Geelong and it's 11 here. So, so fucked. <laughs> yeah. You'd probably be kind of fucked being in Geelong anyway, so. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm new to the channel. I don't know the law. I've only been been here the five or six streams. What's the story behind the BRB video? I made them all. Um, so some of them are trailers for my second channel, Mythonics. Um, I haven't uploaded anything. I haven't been. I don't really advertise that a lot because I haven't uploaded anything there for ages. I would like to again in the future, but for now, I'm just focusing on this channel, right? Um. But yeah, I just like making cool stuff in my BRB screen. And it's good practice too, so. Here in Mexico, it's hot as shit, bro. <laughs> it's hypnotic. Thank you. <sighs> Since you're from Australia, have you ever met the emu? I have, actually, yes. What's the glowing orb? The glowing orb. Oh, the, the satin video? The satin part of the video? Where is it? Hang on. Let me just mute that. Um, this one, the satin video, is that what you're asking? I live in South Australia, so it's two extremes in the middle. Yeah, I have a lot of family in South Australia, and whenever I go down, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold in South Australia. I ain't never felt cold like that. <laughs> I went to Poland during winter, and it didn't feel as cold as South Australia did. <laughs> Um, who do you think wins? One emu or a chrome all? Oh, that's a close one. That's a really close one. I'm going to have to give that to emu, actually. Yeah. But jumping to the lore rabbit hole, do you have any other channels you recommend to check out for Fear and Hunger? Um, for lore specifically, there are a couple that have been popping up, actually. Um, there is one called Worm Girl who do, who did a, a couple of massive videos. Um, I'll just pull them up. Um, that are good sort of, uh, how do you describe them? Um, ba, 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 ba. They're, they're, well, they're, they're story analysis, analyses, um, that sort of just go over what happens in the games. And that's a really good breakdown. If you play through the game and you're like, Okay, if you like, if you finish a game, like you know, get a couple of endings, and you're like, okay, so what actually just fucking happened? <laughs> um, then Worm Girl's videos are really good for that. Uh, here's the one for Termina, and you'll be able to find the. Uh, there's one for Fear and Hunger as well on there. Um, they're really good. Um, and uh, there is for law specifically. Um. I think we're the only two major channels that do that. There are people that do like 
uh, philosophical breakdowns of what's happening, which is pretty interesting. Um, let me see if I can find that. There was a good one that came out uh, da, 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 the other day by Mao. Oh no, Mao, right. <laughs> this one. That's a really good one. I really like that one. Um, oh, and our friend of the channel, uh, Uranium, did one. Um, let me pull that one up. This, this, I, I really like this one too, actually. Um, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Eros and Thanatos. I thought this one was pretty... It's a, it's a short one, but I thought it was really good. Um, there we go. What's canon in Termina? <laughs> we... I think, well, we don't know for certain, but I think that the only thing that's going to end up being canon is ending A and Dan becoming Pocket Cat. Everything else I don't think is going to matter. So, like, how, how there's a bunch of minor stuff in Fear and Hunger 1 that doesn't matter, um, I think that the, most of what happens in Termina just doesn't matter, so. You and one girl are honestly A++ to you, both sensational. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Who was all bone stones? He doesn't cover a lot of lore on his channel. He's mostly gameplay guides, and they are excellent gameplay guides, by the way, for um for the first game. Um, he doesn't cover Termina at all, but he does a bunch of guides for uh for the first game and a bunch of other stuff too. Just random guides, uh, some broken strategies, and that it's pretty funny to see sometimes actually. So go check him out too. Um, let's keep let's keep going. Let's keep playing. <laughs> let's keep going. Let's play the game, hey? Okay, we're doing Das. Ugh. Now, we can't call her Simp again. Um, what should we call her? <laughs> I love it if all the significant B endings from Termina were canon. Just in three to screw with people. That would actually be really funny. <laughs> you said ending A is canon, but we know Lagarde becomes king in yellow, right? Some people theorize he was resurrected by Das. Ending A in the first game is uh, is the girl. Okay, so yeah, ending A. So I said ending A in Termina is most likely canon. Where you turn on logic. I would be shocked if turning on logic doesn't happen. It just seems very odd for that not to happen, right? Um, Simp the Pimp, Bowl Cut. Bowl Cut's a good one. Doing Dark Priest somewhere? Uh, yeah, that'll probably be next week. Um. We'll do we'll do Dark Priest then, that'll be fun. Soup? <laughs> Goku. Inferior Casca. <laughs> uh Desimp. Yeah, we did that. We, we did Simp last time, so. Which old god engraving is your favorite? Like Grogroth, even if it shits that wise. Um Pattern wise, I really like Ulmir and God of Fear and Hunger. Um, but if if I was to personally get one, it would probably probably be rare. So Coconut. <laughs> Give me the case of multiple endings being canon like the first Fear and Hunger. So the issue with that is that a lot of endings in Termina are mutually exclusive. One person can get up the tower. Only one person can get up the tower, right? So that means only one person becomes a self-occultist or escapes. That's it. So you can have you can have ending A and then one ending B or C become canon, right? Max. Just absolute max. Um, so, you know, it's, it's sort of hard to know, right? Best girl? Best girl's a good one. Divorced? <laughs> uh, how about the, the mom who stepped up? That's a good one. What do you reckon? The one story where the race of people turned on their own God actually works frequently. Name one story where a race of people turning on their, oh, okay. Um, hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Olivia ending B is definitely canon. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so, guys. I'm sorry. I don't think Olivia's making it out of the hood in this one. Rares look pretty dope. I like giving it to Black Kali for making him a resident mage. <laughs> mummy. <laughs> okay, I like mummy. I like mummy. Mummy. Is it, oh, the dash isn't going to come up, is it? The dash doesn't, doesn't stand out. <laughs> I think a Bella ending sounds pretty canon. I could see a Bella getting ending. Um, I, I could, I could, I could see a Bella personally like 
realizing how shit everything is and then deciding to go with the festival. But it seems odd that Abella wouldn't uh, enter the bunker because she's, she's geared up for the bunker, right? And she's got the whole story with... Uh... No, see, look, it's, 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 it's Olivia and Abella and probably Osar going to the bunker. I, I think that's, that's how that would play out. Because Olivia needs to go to the bunker because her sister is calling her there. Um, Abella is going down there because she's got the whole thing with the NLU. And she's figuring that story out. And that leads directly to the bunker. And she knows how to, how to turn it all on. Um, and then you've got Osar who is being led there by um, Nashra. So, and they would find him as they go down to the bunker. And the way to recruit Osar when you get down there is to be really nice to him, which Olivia would do. So. Okay, so what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? We want... Uh, I guess we want Dash, don't we? Hey. Me being completely unaware of the connection between Free and 1 and 2 because I haven't fully played either games. <laughs> Takes a while, doesn't it? What god is that eye symbol? That's Sylvian. Sylvian's symbol changed a little bit between the games. <clears throat> Get panophobia, I hear it's good. <laughs> What happens canonically to Marco? He gets fucking owned. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's fucking dead. He is so dead. Tanaka punches him to death in Rare's Realm. It's a pretty baller way to go out, but he's dead. In Fear and Hunger, the Dark Priest is like a mega late game, right? His S ending. Uh, yeah. Yeah, his S ending, you basically got to beat the game normally. So it's, it's, it's a bit longer. Um, I think we want fast. I don't think it matters, actually. What's the strength of using Desimp? She's a really good fighter. Um, she's, she might be the best in direct combat. No, she definitely, she definitely is, yeah. Um, she's definitely the best in direct combat, especially when you get all of her abilities, so that she goes fucking nuts. She just goes nuts. Can you explain somehow normally how uh, uh, Marco's dead? Who do you think survives the festival? I would like to think that Tanaka survives. I think that would be pretty sick. <sighs> There's differences between beating the game in other ways than normal. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So when you're on hard mode, um, each character has a unique ending you can only get on hard mode. So... I thought the Berserker bar character was best for combat. No, he's dog shit in combat. <laughs> he's so bad in combat. <laughs> the one ability he has... See, he's got two abilities for combat, right? One, one makes enemies target him. Hang on, I'm not, I'm not getting confused with the abilities from Termina. But he's got one ability that uh, when you use it, you can't target where you want to hit. And then if you get hit while you're using it, it's, you stop using it. So it's, just, it's, it's literally just wasting a turn. It's, it's awful. It's just awful. Um, we want to run away. Did you go for a sec? What's going on? We're getting, we're trying to get Darcy's S ending. It shouldn't be that hard to get. I want Olivia to survive canonically thanks to her tie with her sister and logic. She's not, bros, Olivia is not going to survive the festival. She's not going to do it. It's not happening. Reckon is just good for the bow, huh? That's like, that's like the only thing he's got going for him. And even then, it's not a big deal. So. Because the enemies that are so, are usually so easy to avoid. It's not a huge deal. What difficulty? This is hard mode. The hardest difficulty. Osar is, is going down to logic too. So. <laughs> if he sucks at combat, that sucks that his S ending is fighting everything. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We'd be going for necromancy, not in this playthrough. You don't need to fight anything for this one. Uh, hang on, let me let me just check. One of these is really important to get. Um, do, 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 do. take the rear managed defenses. Yes, we need we need to take the rear managed defenses. Um. Because we need a sword, so. 
Here we go. Leg sweep your mate into Miasma. Do we need Miasma? I don't even need Miasma, to be honest. We might as well get it if we get Leg Sweep, right? Um, Rush Trigger. Here we go. Sick. Iron Spear better. Uh, Iron Spear deals more damage, I believe. Uh, but you can't use that with Leg Sweep. So, and we need to guarantee having a... Um, we need to guarantee having a sword. You know, there's a high chance to get a sword, but it's not guaranteed, and you don't want a, a run completely screwed because of uh, bad RNG, right? So. Up, 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 up. Okay, let's do the usual thing. We'll go down here. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Can you stop giving me rotten food, please? Jeepers creepers. What is wrong with this thing? Oh, I'm going to give you a light of torch. It's pitch black. We keep getting this exact same opening. <laughs> this exact same opening area. This is crazy. Okay, give me this. I don't need good... Because uh, Kush Dar Stars with really good armor, so you don't really need... What, what am I doing? I don't need to roll for an extra weapon. Play, oh, plate helmet. That's all right. If you eat flower, what happens? I don't think you can. Eagle Crest Shield, I already have that. Tobacco. Okay. Nice. Okay, this is a really good start. Really good start. Um, okay. So we need to go get leg sweep ASAP. That's what we need to do. I don't get a key, did I? Can I force this door open? No, that sucks. Been thinking lately how many Hollow Live YouTubers tr try out to become a sponsored streamer and what the effects of being rejected does to them. Hollow Live YouTubers try to be a sponsored streamer. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean by a sponsored streamer? So the we did I miss this weapon rack like each time? I think I did. <laughs> Oh, okay, you get a guaranteed key here. Okay, that's all right then. Ba, ba, ba. I think one of Kahara's swords can be bought in Termina. Uh, yeah, so the sword in Kahara's ending, you can find in Termina. Which is why some people think that Kahara's S ending is canon. Um, but I, I, I don't know if that, that's convincing enough for me, to be honest. I think it's just a neat little reference. Because, you know, that sword could exist without him buying it, right? Like, officially endorsed as an idol. Oh, so they actually join Hololive. Uh, oops, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Die, die, die. Shit! Why did I do this? Why did I do this? No worms, no worms, no worms, no worms, no worms, no worms. Okay, good, 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 good. There we go. Ugh, that was bad. <laughs> Wait, did I just go the wrong way? I went the wrong fucking way, didn't I? Oh, you're actually kidding me. Fucking Manibas. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot, guys. Never listen to me ever again. I just wanted to go here. This is where I wanted to go, right here. <sighs> you can't run from Maniba fights unless you have escape plan. You, you literally cannot run from them unless he has escape plan. So that's why it's worth just attacking them in the head. Just hit him in the head. On normal difficulty, you can usually one-shot them, but uh, not in this difficulty, so. Getting darker. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's got really sore for a second. It's sword and sword's gonna be mass produced. That's why it's likely not his sword. It's the same. That's what that's what I expected as well. That's what I thought. Do you think this game would translate well to 3D? I think it would be. I think it could. I think it could. Someone's playing Termina for the first time. Is Osara a good character? Uh, magic based characters in Fear and Hunger are tougher for the first time you play. It's not impossible, but you. There's extra systems they had to pay attention to. Um, but they had to pay attention to affinity. 
and magic usage, which can be tougher for new players to understand on top of the other systems they need to learn. Um, so it's not impossible, but I would recommend against it. Especially since Osar can't use guns, and guns are a pretty big deal in, in Termina. Um, they're a pretty big deal. I, I would recommend against it. And honestly, for your first playthrough, you're going to die, like, instantly. So it, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you mean like a full, not just like a 3D reskin, but like fully remake the game into like a 3D action game. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if it would work as well. It The slower pace helps the horror, I think. And I don't know if, if moving it to like a 3D action game would uh, would work as well. Maybe a first person one. Because the, the limb destruction is, is such an important system. And there are some 3D games that do that, like Dragon's Dogma, but it's... I, I don't know. It'd be tough, I think. Okay, so... Let's get the... Is the elite guard there? I don't think the elite guard's there. Fucking sick! Scroll lock picking. Hell yeah! That's a big deal. Nice. Okay, free lever. Let's go. Um. There are vampires. Yes, there are vampires in Fear and Hunger. Well, maybe. Pe the, the church thought vampires were real. Whether or not they were real is a different story. Uh, but he thought they were. The, the church thought they were. Um, so, anyway, I just want to go back to that, uh, that, that discussion about VTubers. Yes, there are a lot of people that style themselves on, on Hololive because Hololive is obviously the most popular one. But um, at the... During the big wave of, of Western VTuber popularity when Hololive English Gen 1 came out, there were a lot of people that would have had their their, their hopes dashed because it's actually really hard to be an entertainer of the level that Hololive wants. Um, Niji Sanji is a different idea, and I, I don't want to talk about Niji Sanji. Um, but it's actually really hard to get into those sort of companies. Like, you know, there's only been two English Hololive generations, and it's been like three years. And they only, I'm, I'm not as big a fan of their second generation as their first generation, but their first generation was pretty amazing picks for entertainers, like pretty amazing. Um, yeah, I, I was going to get to that pointless. Um, but now be, there's been a lot of time and you've got groups like V Shoujo who have sprung up in popularity to the point where V Shoujo's uh, Iron Mouse is, I think she is the most subscribed streamer on twitch at the moment i or she she was the most at some point she was the most subscribed female streamer on twitch which is you know which is ridiculous considering you know if you know anything about twitch right um and like i could understand people getting getting their hopes up and being burned by it but it's it's the same as everything as as regular streaming right where um just just pressing pressing start stream isn't enough you need to really put your heart and soul into it and it's it's better than like the traditional acting industry i think i think it's easier to succeed because there's zero gatekeeping between you and the audience right so if i make good content it doesn't matter what some producer in hollywood thinks all that matters is what you think i can throw it on youtube i can throw it on twitter i can throw it on twitch i can i can do whatever right um so I think it is, I think the modern content creation is much better than the old systems. Um, you do have a lot of repetitive content, but, you know, if it works, right? Oh, Dark Art, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Just the effects of being told you're not amusing. <laughs> um, yeah. So, if, if, if somebody gets burned, 
I think it's their own fault. It's very, unless, unless you're like, if your goal is to get into hollow life, you're going to get burnt. Just, just full stop, right? They, they recruit so few people, right? If your goal is to succeed as a VTuber, that's a completely different story. And you can still get burned a bit there. But if you fail as a streamer, as a content creator, it's basically entirely your own fault. Um, because you have to look at the content you're making and then learn what works and what doesn't work. You have to make something, realize that it's shit, and then fix it. And then the next one is a little better, and then a little better, and a little better. And eventually, if you do end up making good content, people will find it. It, it, it might take time for people to find it, sure, but there's no gatekeepers preventing good content from coming out, basically. And that's what I really like about the modern content scene. And like, you know, I went through that. I made a, I made a lot of shit content. Uh, uh, content that is, you know, just objectively looking at it, it's just not very good. Um, and I got very lucky finding Fear and Hunger at the time that I did. Very lucky. Um, and you know, I'm not going to sit here and say it's entirely my content. I know that a lot of my success right now is from people being more interested in Fear and Hunger. So, but, you know, it's all a process, right? If... If I started playing Fear and Hunger as a brand new streamer, then I wouldn't be half as successful as I am now because I would still be making shit content, right? I would still be, my, my streams wouldn't be as entertaining as they are now. My videos wouldn't be as good as they are now because I had all that time just, just making stuff that sucked and then trying to learn from it. <laughs> it took a while, but I think I'm, not, not, not that I'm saying like I'm, I'm the best streamer around or anything, but I, I know I'm just a lot better than I used to be. <laughs> Mm. Came for fear and hunger, stay for the VTuber discussion. I think about it a lot because um, it, it's very interesting. and it's, it's obviously very, very pertinent to me, right? <laughs> Additions are always open, but your chances are pretty close. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, love your streams, Percy. Thank you. Can we enter Maid Mountain to be Sojo? <laughs> I don't think, do v, v Sojo, do they, they don't even have a male group, do they? I look, uh, to be real, I wouldn't join V Sojo if they paid me. I, I wouldn't. My, look, my vibe is my vibe is completely different. Anyway, I don't like the I don't like a lot of their their vibes personally. I think that I think they're fantastic entertainers, don't get me wrong. I think they're doing a very good like Iron Mouse in particular. Iron Mouse is a is a straight up just a good person too. Like she's just a really good but like Iron Mouse is like exactly what you want from a top tier entertainer. Really nice, hard working, talented. Iron Mouse is great. I'm not, I'll, you know, I'll never say a bad word about Iron Mouse. Um, but some of the members there, I, I'm not a big fan of. Um, and I don't like their vibes anyway. Like uh, lots of sex jokes and stuff like that. I'm not super into that. <laughs> That's if they even would hire me. I'm probably not. <laughs> it's such a nifty aesthetic. Thank you. It's called, it's called v Shoujo, not v Shoujo. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, the audience engagement you give is uh, honestly the best part, even when you're stressed and doing an intense part. Yeah, I that's what I I think that the the main difference between a live stream and just a video is interacting with the audience. If if people weren't here for the interaction, then they would just go watch a video, and they're here for a reason, and the reason must be that because that's the only difference, right? So that's why I try to interact with the audience as much as possible. Sometimes it's hard because you know you guys chat a lot. Um, and that, that's a bad problem to have, right? <laughs> now pick a number from 2 to 15, except 4 and 7. Uh, let's say 13. I feel exhausted while well, Fear and Hunger lore. We do lore about other horror games. I have some other things that I'm planning. Um, but right now, it's it's good to, to get what they're getting is good, isn't it? Um, but I would love to move on to some, some other games and do content for other games too. Because I know that the... Not that I, not that I dislike, or I'm getting tired of Fear and Hunger or anything. I, I, I'm still, you know, I still love these games to death. Um, but I know that the popularity of these games won't last forever. So if I want to turn this into a career, I need to make content for other games and spread out a bit, right? And then, you know, when people get tired of Fear and Hunger, which, which inevitably happens um, with every game, um, I'm, I won't be as affected by it. I, I'll have other, other, other games I can move into, right? I was always told luck is a key to success, but you have to be prepared to make the most of the chance luck gives you. And it's Iron Goat. Iron Goat. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you're exactly right, right? Um, it doesn't matter. Like, 
you have to be able to like luck is just being able to leverage leverage situations that come to you right and as long as you keep trying you'll always find new situations right it's like you know uh you might have an opportunity to to buy a house like buy a sick house but you don't have the money for it then what's the point point? and so that's sort of the thing right it's like you got to put in the time and effort to become a good entertainer so that when an opportunity comes around for like a, a brand new game blows up and you're you know you you'd like playing it right well not that i'm saying we're good entertainer you know what i mean right i'm i'm a, i'm an exper- i'm more experienced now cuz cuz i spent 2 years uh grinding away at, at streaming and making videos when fear and hunger came along i was in a much better position to to leverage the audience basically it sounds a bit soulless when you say it like that, but that's what happened. <laughs> so, um, you know, and so now, now I can I can ride high on that wave for a bit. Have you played Aveyond at all? I haven't. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. What's the deal with the shirt monolith and Termina? I think that's sulfur emerging into reality, but it's still up in the air what exactly it is. Hypothetical Fear and Hunger 3, it takes place in 2012 when everybody thought the world was going to end as the date approaches, things start getting chaotic. That'd be interesting, yeah. Kill all enemies in your room and sleep in your bed without any danger. <laughs> Try to become streaming if you fail the coin flip, reload. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, just keep reloading. <laughs> but no, like it's like if you want to be, it's it's the same. It's the same with all art, right? If you want to be a streamer, if you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to be a writer, if you want to be an artist, you just you start right now. The first things you make are gonna suck, but when you finally are in a position to you know make make the perfect video essay about the perfect game or draw the perfect art piece you'll have the experience to do it and if you're not experienced enough to do it you won't do it it just is not going to happen so you need to start right now if you want to if that's if that's a goal of yours even if it's like you know oh i want to do it full time but i can't now well that's fine the stream you know once a week twice a week you know make a try and make a video once a month right something just make something anything doesn't matter what just anything just make something <laughs> what other games would you consider doing law for um don't know really it's always better to do do law for like brand new games that have come out so doing something for like uh i haven't played it yet so i don't know how deep you can actually get into it but something like a brand new game like you know amnesia the bunker would be would probably be a good one to do law video for I'd love to do one about uh, Cult of the Lamb. I don't know how, how much people are interested in it at the moment, though. Where can I find Pocket Cat? I've got uh, Demon Seed and Kid Demon can't find Pocket Cat anywhere. I think he moves down to the uh, Cave Dweller Village after the first time. After the first time you talk to him. I'm not sure, though. I don't really do that quest line much, so. Played Fallout. Fallout is pretty sick. It's not very horror, though. I want to I want to mostly stick for, for horror stuff for this channel. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how we go in the future. But I man, I I fucking hated Fallout Four though. Fallout Four was dog shit. Fallout Five is gonna be dog shit. Starfield's gonna be dog shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're just gonna be dog shit. I'm sorry, they're bad games. They're just bad games, and I don't want to play them anymore. <laughs> this conversation's all in Dust's head. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to see some more content from you. Of course, only if you like the games. How about some Shin Megami Tensei to fill the dark dystopian theme? I, I, they're always on the list. I've just never gotten around to playing them. Um, and I did play Sigmalis. That was really fun. I actually played that before, uh, before this. <sighs> Cult of the Lamb has still quite a large following still. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe, maybe we will. Combat was really good in Fallout 4. It was, but then everything else in the game got worse. Got 10 times worse. Except for... Okay, so. Combat was good. Uh, power armor felt really nice. Um, and layering armor was kind of cool, but then the actual... The actual uh, the idea of it was cool. The actual sets were pretty shit. Um, Bethesda hired another team to do the combat for them, so I don't know if we can give them credit for that. I can't believe you're not looking forward to New Vegas 2. I wish there was a New Vegas 2. <laughs> What's your favorite Isekai? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't watch a lot. The only one I really watched was um, Shield Hero. That was pretty good. But otherwise, I didn't really... I haven't really watched many. Just Dust is disassociating. <laughs> he wasn't in the Cove tribe and neither in his firstborn. Neither two places he should be. Oh. 
I saw in Reddit that he just vanished if you rechange the city. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know where he is then. <laughs> I'd love to see you do Killer 7. It's a weird game. I've played it before. I actually was playing it on the stream as well. That's such a weird game, isn't it? It's great, though. Okay, we should actually get back to this. You played Pathological Darkwood. I played Darkwood um, off stream ages ago. I wasn't that into it. And I haven't played Pathologic. I've got that loaded up and ready to go, though. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, can you go away, dude? I don't want to deal with you. Oh, shit. Get juked. <laughs> Get owned. Ah, not falling for that one. Okay. Get fucking destroyed, you nerd. No, 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 no. Here we go. Okay. Oh. The smell of gore and flesh fills the damp air. Give me this, please. Thank you. I don't, you don't really need the skinny knife, but you may as well. This layout is different. Hmm. Did you get Kahara's ass ending? We did, yes. Okay. This layout's different. What layout is this? Ah, oh, right, the Mauler layout. Yes, okay, this one. Got very confused for a minute there. I uh, kind of don't, kind of don't care, dude. Kind of don't care. Goodbye. Gee, I kind of don't care. Oh, no, don't care about you either. Uh, great. Here we go. Oh, this is the layout they use for the uh, the dance party at the end of. Oh, is that the league guard? What? You're kidding. New Vegas 2 rumor started from some file name from a Steam update. That's right. Yes, yes. I'm praying for that. Does being corpses actually do anything? No, no, not in, uh, not in the Fear and Hunger 1, no. Was it ever explained why Nashra was in the tunnels full of gore? Yes, it was, actually. He's trying to resurrect... He's trying to make a new body for himself, but he keeps failing, so... Go away. Chop. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, good. Don't chant. Don't chant. Good, 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 good. We got this. We got this. Mouse on DXM confirmed. What's DXM? Favorite type of crab? Uh, those massive coconut crabs are really cool. Let's well sacrifice this guy. Do we need Ormir for this one? Yes. Yes. Isn't the floating head guy from the previous set of new gods? Yes, he is. Did he just chant? He just chanted, didn't he? I missed it. I was looking away. Let's just talk to him. He'll be fine. He can't actually do anything. And Nashra lost his body. He got it cut off by the uh, by Francois and his party when they kicked in the doors of Mahab. What can you do with the soul stones? So what you need to do is you, uh, when you get a soul stone, you need to kill an enemy and then charge it um, using their soul. And when you do that, I'll show you in a second. I was going to pick up these books. When you do that, no. When you do that, you can use it to get a new skill, but you can only do that um, at the Hexen. I have a coin, I can use that on the rat. On the rat. Assassin's, can you stop giving me that Assassin's Handbook, please? Mahav, stop giving me doubles. Oh my goodness gracious. Scroll of Berserk, God, that's fucking useless. <laughs> okay, let's use the rat coin. That's nice. okay. How can we leave only one? Yes, let's go. One question about the law. Uh, Dark priests, when they have brothers, they kill each other, right? So why Enki's sister and Dark priests allowed him to live after accepting defeat? I think they threw him. I 
No, wait, 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 wait. No. When Enki lost to his sister, um, his sister showed mercy to him and then turned around to look at what the Dark Priest wanted him to do. Um, but he killed her. No, wait, wait, wait. That's right, that's right, that's right. That, that's where the option, that's where you can choose whether to kill her or not. Um, I think they just, uh, they threw him down the well because it was funny. And she didn't want to necromancy him, I guess. That's, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Now you mentioned it. But yes, you have to use a hexen table here. And I want... Leg sweep. Yes. The skill of leg sweep is engraved into your head. Nice, let's go. On guard would also be a good pick, but we're not fighting much, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go get Miasma. Kahara got a haircut? Yeah, he did. Let's go get one of the best swords in the game. Can you add Nashra to your party? Not in this mode, I think. I'm going to kill him so she can revive her brother. Nah, just throw him down the wheel. It'll be funny. It was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty funny. Boop, 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 boop. Gee golly, it's, it's dark in here. Navigate based on, on ancestral blood memory. Having done this run 20 times. Okay. Oh, fucking maneuvers go away. Here we go. Oh, you can do it with lockpicking? No, I guess not. Here you go. <laughs> Which one's canon? Uh, alive or dead? Uh, I think dead. Because he has necromancy when you fight him. Here we go. You guys probably wanted to see that, huh? Well, too bad. One of the best swords in the game. Let's go. Okay. Uh, what's next then? Um. Now we just go back to the dun the uh prison. Then we can leg sweep down the door. And then we can... We need to go to... We need to go to the cave drillers anyway. We can go back to the cave drillers from the... From the door. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, I'm not sure you last seal. That'd be interesting. Does a guard always die after 30 minutes in game? Um, on a hard mode, he starts dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's in there again? Oh, right, bone shears. Oh, I don't care about that. I'm going to need to turn the light on. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Who killed the guard? The, uh, the priests. The priests want him dead, so. Okay, I'm gonna need to top up my... There we go. If you go crazy with that, you'll kill your party... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I kill my party members, does it? <laughs> I don't have any party members. Okay. Roton Turnip. Let's go. I think that we'd be able to use Miasma and Termina in the update. It's already there. Maybe. I think that would be cool. We get black steel, so why not Miasma, right? Tabaki. Okay, we need to go get the cube. We need to go get the cube. So. God, how do we get there? This way. Is Miasma cursed? Can I hit this dude? Oh, I cannot. Shit, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Goodbye. 
Can I not get around this fucking dude? I don't think I can. Oh no, Das is looking tired, guys. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way! There we go, okay. Down here. you think Miasma would count as a cursed weapon, right? You'd think so. Gilf Das. <laughs> oh, the fucking... Oh, no, we can't. The rope. Oh, how do we get up there? That's so annoying. Oh, why didn't anybody tell me? Why didn't you, any of you tell me? God damn it. Restart? It's it's not worth a restart. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Don't you laugh at me. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Fucking ghost. Jute. There we go. No, stop that. <laughs> you need the rope? Yeah. What can I do down here? I need to go get Lagarde, but I need to come down here anyway. So, okay. Okay. If you get phase step, you can like, yeah, but you know, if you get phase step, then it's just like fucking whatever anyway, right? What does that sword on the screen mean? It means that Miasma is making, is calling out for blood. Oh, go away. I don't want to fight you. Uh, when your mind gets low enough, you'll start killing your teammates as well. But I don't think that's going to be, shit, that's not going to be an issue here, is it? And we don't have escape plan this time, so it's going to be harder to actually escape from stuff. So we need to be careful with fighting. Okay. Kill them. Kill them all. Tin of the sword. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. It won't be too hard to, to reach down there. We'll just have to... Oh, we'll have to kill some fucking... Yellow mages. Okay. Oh, shit. I got gnomed. <laughs> You've been gnomed. <laughs> Hey, pocket cat. What's the, uh, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Oh, across the bridge. Do we have to... Move us too. Okay. 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 Come on, Moonless. There we go. Oh, shit. How did Moonless end up in pre -heaval? Uh, August brought her. August brought her to help kill... Lagarde, for some reason. Oh, this is bad. No? Actually, I don't think that ability does anything. I think it... If I, if I recall correctly, what it does is it uh, boosts the attack power of the, uh, the, the chest, but the chest doesn't actually um, do anything. Actually, attack. So, do you think uh, Miasma is affecting Moonless with the same bloodlust, seeing as him better than a body in two? Uh, probably not, because Moonless calms down when August rocks up. So, okay. Pray. This way? Nice. Stuff. We love stuff. Okay. No, oh, dude. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Why can't you bring Moonus? Uh, you can't recruit Moonus in this difficulty, I'm pretty sure. I may be wrong. I'm wrong about a lot of things. Ring of Race. Ring of Race. Is Ring of Race a curse in this? Ring with a blood diamond embedded in it. The blood diamond has seen so much death that life force is leaking from it. 
Uh, that's fine. I don't want it anyway. This fucking guy. Okay, let's uh, heal a little bit. Do I have anything to heal with? Wait, hang on. I got an Archimelia, didn't I? Or am I just going crazy? Hell yeah, let's go Archimelia. Nice, okay. Okay, let's go. Um... Okay. Time for you to fucking die. This is it. Miss? Oh my god. Oh, can't you? Oh my god. What? Whatever. Whatever. Fine. Fine. I'm not going to do it the proper way. I'll just hit him in the fucking head until he dies. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll just do that. We'll just do that then. Have to be another limping run? No, not this time. Not this time, boys. We got it. Limping powder's nice. Let's go. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Let's go get this friggin' rope. Try not to cuss. Try not to cuss. You feel stressed. <laughs> this is the sort of game that does stress you out a fair bit. Yes, yeah, so a pocket cat usually spawns here if you talk to him the first time. He'll come down here. But I guess your game glitched out before. Throwing dart, nice. Who would win? A someone be able to control the mind of any person, forced to kill even their closest friends, or a guy who got tortured for thirty minutes? Well, he does have pretty, uh, pretty hardcore mind. So there we go. Okay. Or oh, should I buy something? Give me blue vial and another blue vial and another blue vial and another blue vial and dried meat and another blue vial. Is it pocket get useless in hard mode? No, um, you can get. You can apparently get the demon kids and you can trade them. Um. We pitch black, we're pitch black here, aren't we? There we go. I should get the rope first before I do this because it'll be a huge fuck around to get the rope after that. So. Was it this one? Yeah, here we go. Nothing turns me on more than having a dismembered leg, that's for sure. Game is Undertale mixed with Elden Ring mixed with a horror game. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, now we go get the, the cube. Le cube for Lagarde. How much time did Lagarde spend in the dungeons? Um I think it's like a week or so. Not very long. It should say in Darcy's opening, actually. Oh, fuck off. It should say in Darcy's opening, actually. Uh, I kind of don't want to fight you. Goodbye. What's in your head? In your head. You like coffee? I love coffee, yeah. Can't drink it, though. Ugh, okay. Trying to cuss? I'm trying! See, the thing about... The thing about trying is that you don't always succeed, guys. And that's okay. All we have to do is try our best every day. As long as you try your best every day, it'll all work out. <sighs> Ghosts go away. 
ghost. Do you have issues with caffeine? Oh boy, do I. Pray. Actually, by the time I, I, I'm not going to go back upstairs anyway, so I'm not going to be able to get, um, <laughs> get any more all mirror. Uh, actually, get blood portal, so it doesn't really matter. Um. Go. Yum yum yum, yum yum yum. Oh, how do you see me? That doesn't make a lick of sense. Can you stop doing that, please? It's very rude. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. No, my boyfriend. His throat is cut open. He's been dead for a while. This is a man you came here for, which means you init your initial mission has failed. You feel a terrible sensation inside you. This is a man you loved. Now gutted like a pig. I'm having fun. This is a fun chat. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are having fun. You're trembling. This is the reality you had to accept. Green Hunker can be an MGS style stealth game. That'd be sick. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. If you die, you reset. No mistakes. Ascended run. Well, yeah, that's 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 hard mode, right? You just have to, you just die. You go back to the start, no saving. Well, technically, there is one save after you after you build your character, um, but other than that, yeah, no saving. Can't sleep in any beds, and you can't, um, and you can't, you can't get any books of enlightenment, so. I'm working on a dating sim from the info I got from the last stream I got to watch. You're working on a dating sim? Cool. Let's go back to the past, I think. We already used pufferfish sound for the ghouls. What pufferfish sound? That one from that horrible video where they killed it? That poor thing. Probably not. This was This was well before that, I think. Okay. Um, okay, so the scraps of paper we need are all in the library. Okay. Scroll of pirate trick, eh? Come on. Come on, let's go. Now you're just gonna vibe? Okay. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> we are not doing this fight, that's for sure. I should heal up a little, shouldn't I? Um, bah, 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 blue vial, there we go. One of my 30 blue vials I just purchased. Nice. Anyone seen Dungeon Knights mode? Haven't found any complete playthroughs of it on YouTube. Really? I have some. Some of my old VODs, we did, we did Dungeon Knights mode. It was really fun. I did a couple of complete playthroughs. Um, of, of course I didn't, I didn't end up dating everybody and, and I got, I got, I got a bad ending once. I got a good ending another time, so, you know, you know how it is. You know how the dating game is, right guys? Right guys, we've been on lots of dates here. Or, well, you know, going out on a, on a new date every, every, uh, every, every weekend, right? Rural, rural players here, aren't we? Aren't we guys? Jen of a long lost prisoner here. All I wanted was to resurrect her. I loved her so. But now I am a prisoner waiting for my miserable end. I hope we will once again meet, joined in the afterlife. The handwriting and journal itself looks several hundred years old. There's a torn piece of paper here. You find torn instructions. Three. Tobacco. Uh, the other one is this way. Uh, which way is easiest? Uh, this way. 
Oh, I forgot you were here. Go away, dude. You're gross. And I don't want to interact with you at all. <sighs> worm juice. Yummy. A lot of worm juice this time around, isn't there? What's a date? Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what's the pattern for these guys again? Uh, uh, I've done this, I've done this puzzle like 15 times. I'm just going to look it up. I don't, I don't feel like figuring it out again. Googling time. Yeah, it's like I can go to the future and I can come back here and I can look at it again or I can do this, or I can do that. I'm, I don't care. I'm I've done it. I've done it like 30 times. Okay. I think this is it. One second. Let me try this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that, that puzzle uh, solution doesn't change ever. It's always the same. Das is like a snatch queen, you good? <laughs> she's <laughs> she's feeling it, that's for sure. It's turned me on. Oh, thank you very much, Clayton. I really appreciate it. Goodbye, Valtiel. We missed you. Oh, that's why my friggin' alerts aren't coming up. I had them muted. Why do they have them muted? Thanks for turning me on to fear and hunger. Oh, that's right, that's right. It was doing the, um, there was a glitch that it was doing before. Is it this one? No. Because there's, it sometimes does it where it'll fuck up. Ancient, ancient book. No! We're not doing ancient book. Okay. Is it like here? Tornus Direction 2, sick. Okay, okay, we got Tornus Direction 2, we got 1, 2, and where's the last one again? Um, where is the last Torn Instructions? Uh, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember. Um, oh, it says in the library here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the Kahara, the, end, the title says Kahara S ending, but something tells me that's not the ending we're going for. <laughs> no, we already got Kahara S ending, so we already got it. The last one is like here, isn't it? Torn Destruction 1, here we go, sick. Craft item. Yep, this one. Instructions of Rebirth. A page describing the teaching of Sylvian and her love magic called Rebirth of the Beloved. Now, I want you guys to think about why Sylvian would have a spell called Rebirth of the Beloved and think about who, who Sylvian has had relationships with in the past. And and look at this <laughs> and this icon. <laughs> Paper has only mysterious occult symbols and circles that form the instructions on how to give rebirth to your loved one. You do not understand what these mean, but for some reason the ways are engraved in your head. The magic of rebirth of the beloved is engraved in your mind. A hidden love magic that is said to bring back the one you love most. Is she not the wife of Grogroth? You got it. Got it in one, boys. <laughs> I remember my friend was trying to do it and he thought he had, you had to fight Valtiel. I'm a little surprised you don't have to fight Valtiel for it. You don't have to fight anybody for this ending. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. Is that the Pinecone Pig instructions? Yeah, yeah, Pinecone Pig, my beloved. <laughs> Can you hide a rock friend? No. <laughs> Any real waifu is Nilbin changed my mind. She is like the god of waifus, isn't she? She literally is. Go on, you want, no, you want to read it? I don't want to read it.
Death the easiest ending and very easily cheese. It is very easy to cheese, yeah. Mm, she's so fast. Das is so fast, guys. I need to pray that this guard fucks off. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, can I not get around here? I can't. Whoops. Uh, go. Move, move. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, good. We got it, we got it, we got it. Yes, okay. Rebirth of the Beloved here. Using this complicated magic and rituals involves seem to come naturally from you, as if there is a divine hand guiding you in this. With this magic, you can finally unite with the one you love. This is what you believe, at least. <laughs> Creepy. I, I breathe. I'm a god. Shed my human skin. I don't need it. Cool. <laughs> you could not save your loved one from the cruel fate the dungeons had ready for him. But she succeeded in the next best thing, resurrecting Lagarde. He shed his human skin, mocking his past existence as a mortal. Apparently whatever he went through after his passing had changed the man completely. He didn't mind his changed looks, but mentally he was someone else as well. He had turned into a beast, craving to unleash the terror and suffering he had experienced to the outside world. The man claimed to have risen to godhood, but... As you've examined his behaviour as a warlord, he resembled more of a bloodthirsty ghoul. Still, you were reunited with your loved one. That was all that mattered to you. Maybe, with his new crude looks and way of thinking, he could finally be just yours completely. True God of fear and hunger. What an ending. Where to get a snack for five minutes when I'm back to beat the game? <laughs> uh, why is Darcy using your own blood? That's part of the ritual, I guess. First time I saw this artwork, I thought she was putting Lagarde on a leash. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Gatekeeping girl boss. <laughs> Gatekeeping girl boss Lagarde. The capital G. Interesting ending. It is a weird ending, isn't it? Then the elite guard kills him. <laughs> do you Anki next? That's going to take ages. You actually have to do the you have to do the game properly when you do Anki's ending. So for Anki's ending, it's called The Enlightenment. So what you need to do is you need to befriend Nosramus, that um that alchemist we find in the in the in the mines. So that means you have to kill the you have to kill the um, the guardian over that ghost, that ghost guardian. Um, and then you go, have to go do ending D where you become a god. Um, so that way you have to do all those fights again. Um, yeah. Oh, oh you've got to do a whole bunch of other stuff too. That's a complicated one, isn't it? Wait, you need to do so many bosses for that one. You need to do Salmon Snake as well. Wow. <laughs> okay. Did it? We reached Darcy's schizo ending for fear and hunger. <laughs> How could reach this ending in such a short time is phenomenal. I'm just amazed. Yeah, it's such. A, it's a really short ending. It's like the shortest of all the endings, basically. Well, technically, except ending E, but ending E is a cop out. So, Enki's contender for hardest next to Rags. It it is, yeah. You had to kill almost as any as many people as Rag. <laughs> you good? Thank you. First time watching a whole live. Man, you works. Man, thank you very much, Isabella. I appreciate it. Give me an ending E. Give me an N. Give me a K. Give me an I. What does that spell? Enki. <laughs> There's a P ending for pinecone pig. <laughs> You had to, to assemble pinecone pig and then you had to put it inside the, the giant pig. Not to see any new PCs in Fear and Hunger 1. Fear and Hunger 1? 
No, I'm pretty happy with... Uh, I wouldn't mind some new abilities, sure, but I'm, I'm happy with the characters. Um, the, the very first plan was to have add an extra two characters, but uh, that sort of got recycled around, so... I think the ritual was rigged by Sylvian to resurrect Grogroth and end up corrupting Lagard or some crazy stuff. No, I think that it's a ritual to become, to make somebody a self occultist. Um, either that or necromancy actually is just, is just inherently just fucks your soul over completely. Like your, your soul just isn't meant to come back to your body. But I think the ritual, so my thought process is that the ritual of rebirth was originally designed to bring back Grogoroth after becoming... Because it's specifically designed to shed human skin, right? And Grogoroth basically became semi-human, and he wears human skin, okay? Um, and then he has a ritual to shed his human skin to become an old god again. So I don't think that's a coincidence. That's why I think that it was all planned, right? Kid and Moonless only run? You could do... There's a, there's a mod that lets you play as, as, the, uh, as the little girl. Ending P is putting Pinecone Pig into the Golden Throne and sending it to true godhood. <laughs> yeah, Enki's ending S is hard. Ragnvalder's ending S is, like, ridiculous, though. It's ridiculous. When did Grogroth become human? Um, so Grogroth is the... Uh, this, is, this is spoilers for my next lore video come out. I've talked about this on stream before, but if you don't want to get spoiled about that, then, then close your ears for a minute. Um, but the Sun God that died to become Olmia that that used that Olmia used to ascend was Grogoroth. Next update, nothing will change now except every human has a mask helmet that fits their role. That'd be sick. The cubes <laughs> is it cube time? It, it it is cube time, isn't it? Let's bring out the cubes, guys. Where's my cubes? Hang on, I lost my cubes. Where are my cubes? Goodness gracious, I don't have my cubes. One second, I'll just get the cubes out. That's so silly of me. Where do they put my cubes? You, you'll you look at the cubes and then you'll you'll understand completely. You'll be immediately enlightened by the cubes, okay? Here. Here's the cubes. The cubes, guys. Oh, that's a small one. That's a tiny one. What's going on here? Here are the cubes. Cubes. Look at the cubes. Look at the, look at the cubes. See, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Could you move the little girl animation on top of the rat, please? There's a rat? That's Pav. That's not a rat. That's Pav. <laughs> Pav isn't a rat. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> makes sense since you said he ruled over death and the city is much the afterlife of human souls. Yep. Yeah. Um, Grogroth was the king of Mahab. Um, and then being King of the Hard, who was also the Sun God. Because now he's the God of the Eclipse, right? Those cubes, yeah. He's a rat bastard. That's a good point. That's actually a really good point. Okay, where's my pointer? Let's get out my pointer. Yeah, here's my pointer. Let's look at the cubes for a second, right? And this is... Okay, so we have, so we have the God of the Depth sigil here, right? Okay, checks out. On the side of the God of the Depth sigil, we have the, the God of Fear and Hunger sigil. Okay. So what this is saying is that the God will have their, their etching on there plus the Ascended God version of it. Okay. Now we have Grogoroth symbol, and then we can't see what that is really. But we also have cubes that have Ormir's symbol on it. And we know Ormir is an Ascended God. And it's just weird to have Grogoroth on these cubes that are meant for Ascended Gods. So... That's that's one more that's one more hint among many. I have a a like a, a, I don't even know how many pages the script is now. Um, I have a full video coming about it. That's just my, that's just the funniest evidence for it. I think that's that's my favorite evidence for it is the cubes. So, go to the eclipse. Was to say that. So, his symbol is the is the eclipse. Um, I have a I have a full picture of that. Um, and it is explicitly said when you. Um, here's his symbol. Is a symbol, right? It's explicitly said. So it's you can see it's the sun being covered by the moon. So you've got here's the little moon here, and here's the sun, and you can see the rays poking out from behind the moon there. Um so what 
it's explicitly said when you get the eclipse talisman from the yellow mages um when you ask to learn about Grogoroth, they're like well i can't teach you go speak to my master and give him this talisman and the yellow mages are like yeah we we only worship Grogoroth because he's the only one that gives us enough power and then he gives you an eclipse talisman that has Grogoroth. it's called the eclipse talisman and it has Grogoroth's um icon on it um i would show you a full res picture of that but it is tiny that's the issue with the icons from the first game. They are tiny icons. Um, I should have this. I can, I can show you though, but it'll be... I have it somewhere. Where is it? Do I not have it? Oh, hang on. Maybe I don't. Uh, one of the best things about Termina is that every... Every item got a unique, huge icon, which was fantastic. Fantastic for me. Um, oh, here it is. Here we go. See Eclipse, the Eclipse Talisman, and it has Grobros picture on it, so. They, they are basically like 12 pixel icons. <laughs> I wonder if that sun moon symbolism is what was happening. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, lots of sun moon symbolism, right? Next level detective work. I have, well, see, I've been um, submerging myself in fear and hunger lore for about six months now. And I have some, my first sun god video was wild. My sulfur video was pretty, had some pretty cool stuff in it. But this next one was like, this is, this is, I think I've answered everything about sulfur. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the, the theories I've got in there. Um, but you know, maybe someone will, Maybe someone will, will come up with something and say, actually, no, that's all bullshit. You didn't get any of it right. And I'd be like, oh, okay, I didn't get it right then. We'll see. Okay, my script is 14 pages long. So it's, it's about a 40-minute video. It's about a 40-minute video. I think it's like 39 and a half minutes or whatever. When were the 24 stream? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to do the 12-hour stream first. <laughs> Thousand shillings and ten shots of Aaron to you for the awesome lore video, guys. Thank you very much, Aaron. <laughs> Enki S ending win. So we'll do Enki's S ending next week. That will probably take us a couple of goes. Um, that one's a hard one. And then we'll see. We'll see about Raggy's S ending. That one's going to be even harder. <laughs> Is the stream ending doing or did it start? We've been going for like almost four hours. If you're like a Rubik's Cube, would be sick. Oh. <sighs> Okay, so yeah, we will wrap up, I think. Oh, I think this is a good good place to stop. Um, yes, thank you all for uh, liking the video, subscribing. Uh, thank you very much for all the subscribers. Please consider becoming a member. It really goes a long way. There is a cheap version, only a $1. So please consider becoming a member if you do like the content. There's also a $500 tier, which I personally recommend. Um, and if you get that, I will buy a bar of silver each month, and then you will get to see a picture of that bar of silver. So, <laughs> but yes, thank you all very much for for coming in today. I really appreciate it. Um, that my next video will be coming out very soon. Oh, if you're a member, if you are an analog or higher member, you can actually see the uh, the thumbnail for the coming upcoming video. It's it's not exactly a secret at this point, but I, I post uh, the. The thumbnails for upcoming videos uh, for members in the uh, community tab there. So yeah, so thank you very much for coming in. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys all. Not, uh, there's a couple of days. I can't stream on Thursday this week, but I will be streaming on Friday. So make sure to come for that. That'd be fun. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. And I'll see you 